Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of The Dinosaur and the Dude, the only podcast with the shittiest audio but the most amazing content. Thank you all for uh, tuning in to listen wherever you are and however you're accessing us. We appreciate your time and we appreciate your interest in us. So sit back, relax, or if you're driving, enjoy the ride as you listen to another amazing episode. Yo, before we get into this episode, we wanted to go ahead and preface it by saying there are some things that will happen in this episode that are really beyond our control. Most of the time we talk about how we are the the shittiest, you know, we have the shittiest audio, the most amazing content. And we hold true to that in this episode, as always. Uh, but there are some things that you'll notice in this episode that we honestly can't explain what the fuck happened. Um, You'll hear a swooshing sound that comes in uh, that we never heard until until post. And uh, there was also like parts of where the sound legit dropped out and we, we, you know, there, there was parts of that recorded, but this is pretty much the most salvaged portion to cobbling of the episode as possible so yeah enjoy this shit but i'm not gonna say it's paranormal but it's close we got wings out yeah, we are um, with with the wings <laughs> yes wings are out not the band our wings uh so hey everybody hey this is, this is the dinosaur and the dude and you know what this is our 30th episode and uh that's big shit the 14th one that you can hear that's but, big shit you know, it's big shit it's, it's, it is big it's huge uh it's huge not always healthy but it's a big <laughs> shit nonetheless and it's also this, pride month this, yeah so we got a lot to go on in this 30th episode but without further ado thank you everyone for uh coming around, clicking on the button, whatever the fuck you do to Ooh. find us. Uh, this is the dinosaur and the dude, the, the, <laughs> po- the podcast, the only podcast in the world with the shittiest audio, but the most amazing content. Uh, it's so amazing that we don't even know if you can hear it right now. It's the most amazing content that you can find. And I think that we deal with a lot of uh, definitives, like we're the shittiest, we're the most amazing ever uh, uh, in the world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's easy to do though, because we are. And you can find some shitty podcasts and you can find some, I mean, and no doubt there's some amazing podcasts out there that have some really amazing content, but never will you find one that embraces both. But that's us. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to search us over. You found us. Yep. Uh, and know, I'm queer and, and you are welcome here. And this is the dinosaur. That's me. And I'm the dude. And like I was saying, this is a this is our thirtieth fucking episode. We got big things in store. We're gonna do things a little bit different this time. We um you know we're gonna have an actual guest on, someone other than the dinosaur and the dude. Yeah, yeah. And being the the, the podcast with We're not even show. talking about one of my extra personalities either. We're talking no, about like right, a legit right. another human. Right. Being the being the podcast the, the the podcast with the shittiest audio, you can just imagine the amount of uh, cuts, breaks, oh fucks during this whole thing. I'm not worried about it. I figure like if you're gonna be a guest on here, you know what you're walking into. Oh yeah, I preface the situation heavily. So um Oh, I think I should probably send you her email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. It's, See, it's we are so on top of this. While okay. you're doing that, I'll speak for you. Uh, yeah, it is Pride Month. Um, it's a very interesting thing. I, you know, we were just talking about words, word use, and how some people can say certain things, and it just rubs a little bit differently than if, you know, someone was a recipient of whatever was celebrating. So for me, I I acknowledge it's Pride Month, but but I don't. Um, I don't really go out and um, overdo it or over celebrate because 
I don't know. It's sort well, of like one, you don't roll that way. Well, I mean, it's sort of like it's not my celebration so so much, you know. I I, I step back and give I just room celebrate to love. Huh? I just celebrate love. If you want yeah, to be yeah, with yeah. Man, like, yeah. If you be with a woman, great. If you want to be with a they, whatever. Yeah. I mean, just do let's just do our thing and be happy. Yeah. And I think it's very interesting because you know, we you and I we've talked numerous times about flags and and oh pride, my God. pride this and that so if you're it's not aware if you've never been in the united states during um pride month just be ready to see about five of those flags uh at some point various point or all together uh during this month and that's just part of it you know that's just a part of it i think we have as many um we have as many flags as there are days in the month. So this works out beautifully. And if it's not, yeah. you want it. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a fucking bootleg UN when uh, all of them get together. It's just sort of, and it's weird because they all kind of, What's that? they all kind of blend in and look alike a little bit. You, you know, there's there's no definitive like crest. It's, oh, I'm sorry. It's just all these stripes to me. But that's me. That's that's me. What do I know? I'm an ampersand, and that's that's all. Uh, that's all I take away from it. But in, in any case, um, so I was going to ask you: Do we need a phone number, or do we want email? We do do, do the email as usual. It's the quickest. We have so many people that. Are, mm, yeah, it's just, it's the same. It's the same across the as board. Everyone else. Yeah. That we get. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's just uh, that we, like I said, it's our thirtieth episode, and um, we have we have a guest that's coming on. Um, we kind of talked about this last episode, and it was one of those moments where things kind of just fell into place, and truly, and it was like, uh, hey. We could do this. We could do that. Oh, guess what? They they want to join us, and so that was interesting. And it was, you know, behind the scenes. You're being really of, vague right now. Well, I'm saying behind the scenes kind of thing. It was like there was the apprehension of how to go about doing it because it's our first guest, and we just don't want to smear shit on the on the on the plexiglass. You know, we don't want to just we, we don't want to we want to come off like we're like we have at least one idea where one of these buttons are. So, Can I get an email check? yeah. So that basically led to where we were talking about the medium. Yes, and things got bananas really quick. So now, hold on, you pause, madam. Guess. You pause okay. because <laughs> bananas is pretty obscure because this banana, <laughs> because bananas for me is the fact that. There's there's like at least three levels to the banana. Uh, there, okay, there's a peel, each peel of this banana. Okay, there was, fact, there was the fact. There was the fact that you got in touch with one. There was the fact yeah. that you had a session with one. Yeah. And then that session went so bananas that it was like, oh, let's have her on. It was like, uh, yeah, sure, yeah, we're going to. Okay, awesome. I don't, I don't know if I really. I feel like I'm about to talk to someone and be naked at the same time. I, I just, listen, I need you just to buckle up, pumpkin, because I'm about to be like free range out here. Just, I'm about to lose it. And the only, the only little thread to reality or the only little thread back to maybe some cynicism, if okay. you will. Okay. Well, I got a question. You. I got a question. Okay. And I'm, I'm just going to back the dump truck up and and yeah. ask her as many questions as I can. And so okay. without further ado, we didn't go ahead and <laughs> I'm going to be I'm going to be a complete dick. Without further ado, we're going to reach out to our medium here. And <laughs> is that her? Um, no, it, it, I'm going to reach out to the medium and go ahead and see about um, what? them joining. I heard somebody squeal huh? like in an excited way. I just heard somebody squeal. Not me. Fucking hell. <laughs> I think I'm going this crazy. Is what, this is what fucking happens when you deal with a medium. You start losing your shit. That was that's one of my questions I have for 
for them. I don't know if she's a she, the, they, she. them, or whatever. She's a she. I'm just gonna I'm call her. I'm just gonna call her Jesus. And uh, no, don't, don't do we're that. We're gonna rock her. <laughs> um, just ask her what we call. It. Ask her if you wanted her to call her Jesus or no, no, no. I am. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm definitely going to. As soon as she comes in, you. disciple. <laughs> No, I no straight up Jesus. You don't demote <laughs> a pipeline to the you don't to the demote. far north. <laughs> so before before she hops on, and even if she comes in, okay, fine, great. Um, just a little filler. We had this conversation in regards to uh, medium, and we had a conversation last episode. If you haven't heard it yet, check it out. If you, you do? Somehow, if you somehow fuck around and skip episodes, that's on you. Because yeah, we, we're sorry. I mean, we refer back to episodes quite. I, I I'm surprised how much we refer back to episodes, but I think that's a cool thing to have that continuity. Sometimes I have to go back and listen to them again because I forget, you know. Yeah, with right. The and stuff. So we were talking about that, and you had kind of just stumbled upon the medium, and uh, yeah, I was on TikTok just doom scrolling, you know, right. like you do. And, and me, I've seen mediums before. Like yeah. on there and I haven't I mean I was just like whatever yeah you know but something about her because she looks and I don't mean to say that she didn't have like at the hazy like lamp with the red shade she didn't have like candles like the, and some yeah and then like all the moon shit up hand, she wasn't not that there's anything wrong with that I God love God knows I love the moon she but, didn't have a hand woven shawl around her shoulders ooh, and shit like, like that. a crystal ball in front of her yeah and some and weird and shit Leo poster in the back like the over the top <laughs> amount of incense like burning person. yeah so I I just she was live and I just happened to go on her live and maybe like three minutes into it she said just so you know I'm People are asking. I've got appointments that are available. Um, yeah. Not many. I think I have a few left. Right. And I just I never do it. I'm getting chills right now. I never do it, but I went. I clicked on the profile in the link tree. Yeah. And then I just booked it. And then after I booked it, I was like going through her messages and stuff, and I'm like, this is just too. I mean, it's just too weird. It's too. It's really for me. It's too weird. Now I'm an open person. Yeah, I you are. On the bed. <laughs> hey, now. She's like, I don't even have to read. Everything is coming to me. What the hell? I'm a, I'm a lady, damn it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but whereas dude is, he's a bit more reserved with it. You know, he's kind of like, what? Like, yeah. what? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right. I, I just, I've got so like we talked earlier a couple you know a day or so ago i fucking forget that and i i was not bullshitting i got a list i have a list of things <laughs> to ask i and at first uh that I, at first that list was in my head and i was just sort of like nah i don't want to just just nah and then i was like no i gotta capture this stuff because some of these are really good questions and some of these i just want to capture the moment of being able to ask um someone questions that I feel like a lot of people don't a lot of people don't ask these types of questions because they are all trying to be nice and they don't want to disturb someone that pretty much has their finger on the you know on the gateway of spirits who knows what they can do I I just don't I don't I don't care I don't really have anybody that I want to hear from um it's kind of one of those things where it's like, eh, it, it, it's. I hope Richard Pryor comes through for you. Late. Because yeah, be like if it's some random China. person. Yeah, if it's some random no, person. Like the Richard Pryor thing today. Yeah, yeah, right. So random. I, I, if it's some random person, it's like, hey, um, this 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 spirit is saying you don't know them, but they just wanted to say hello to you. Oh, who is it? Richard Pryor. Oh, okay, cool. Hey. You would feel, are you kidding me? You would like right, exactly. Like, of course, I, I can mute my out. mic, mute, mute my mic. Probably throw my headphones across the room. It's like no, fucking way. <laughs> right? No fucking way. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay get. Could you guys watch your fucking language? Get your, <laughs> no, get your, get your, get your clean underwear on, everyone. Okay, so. Oh, I didn't know I had to have clean underwear on. Or none. You could have There's none. Underwear. Whatever. Oh, awesome. What? Hold on, hold on one second. 
Huh. She's like, hold on one second. Let me go find Are you something. being charged by the minute? <laughs> no, just like. So. Okay. All right, cool. Hello. We're here. Hey. Um, hey. It's hard to hear you. Are you having a hard time hearing her? Yeah, I was going to say you're a little low, but I'll try and pump you up in post. And then hopefully it'll come up a little bit better. But I'm on the edge of being an elder. My ears don't work the way oh. they used oh. to. <laughs> Yeah. Well, girl, I'm 45. I mean, too. So, so okay. I you came on right after I was talking about how I have a, a fuck load of questions, but before all so of that, introduction, dude. This yes, is, before all this of that, I want to thank you for joining us. And you're our very first guest on our 30th episode. So thank you for that. Woo! Really on the first appreciate day of Pride. That. Yes, on the first day of Pride, on our first 30th episode on our whatever <laughs> whatever other fucking for, first you want to put on there. So in any case, everyone, this is us not making bullshit up. Here is the medium we were talking about. So there yes. you go. We're not full Welcome of shit. To our home. Yeah. So introduce I, yourself because I don't want to do it for you. Yeah. Can you hear me better now? Yeah, though? you're great. Okay, perfect. So I'm a medium, but I'm actually kind of an extra large, but I'm working on it. Okay, I'm taking cool. Ozempic right now. But um, anyways, yes, um, I'm a medium and um, I'm, I guess I'm real. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> at home. that's always something that, you know, anybody wakes up one day and it's like, okay, am I real? Is this real today? Am I real? Is this real? Fuck it. Yeah. Especially, well, that's literally how it happened. Especially. So. <laughs> Um, shit, so shit's dropping. So it's getting weird. Shit's dropping on me here. I got crystals all around me, and shit's getting shit's getting real. So okay, so you do have a okay. So we were just kind of touching on that a little bit. So you have a a, a, a setup. I, <laughs> you got crystals and whatnot. Yeah. No, okay. I'm not too. All I'm right. not like too bougie. I I um I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Listen, I have ADD, so I am literally a hot mess. Yeah, I don't but, understand so how you're doing crystals in your area yeah. right there because I wouldn't be able to focus on anything. Well, I have, it's a clusterfuck. So, um, but it, it works with me. I don't like to, I just like to take little sections of my desk and keep them clean, but the rest of it's a nightmare. So, hmm. um, so, so I got questions and I'm sure I got answered. I'm sure the, the setting has been, I don't know. I don't know if you have questions, ma'am. I mean, answers, ma'am. I got questions. We're going to start. We're going to start okay. from the beginning. And I'm just going to ask a bunch of stuff that I feel like people don't normally get to ask sure. a medium. Um, and and if if you don't want to answer them, just say <laughs> pass or this isn't that you know, weird whatever. Thing. Whatever they, whatever uh, they there's do. There's nothing. Shows, there's whatever. nothing that you can ask me. Uh, there's nothing that offends me. Okay. Uh, there's nothing that's off limits. Okay. All right. Um, well, there's a couple things. Okay. But, yeah. Um, like I already talked to Amy about yeah, it. Sure. I share. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we got that. But before we start, we we'll always like to tell everybody. Should I um, do it? Nothing that we're talking okay, about. We, yeah, you go ahead because you're always know. sounding believable. Yeah, I don't know shit, and I know dude don't know shit don't. neither. We, the only thing that we know that Absolutely. we figured out this far, and this is thirty, y'all. This is thirty. So the only thing that we know for sure, well, no, there's two things. We have shitty audio, which we promised anyway, but also we don't know shit. So mm -hmm. these are our opinions. We're not trying to. Yeah. We're not trying to um, offend anyone. If you are offended. I'm sorry. Maybe this isn't the podcast for you, but we do wish you well. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah. If, if 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 for some reason you're offended by or triggered by anything we were talking about, it's not something that right. we're doing on purpose. It's not something we're trying to instigate anything. It's genuine questions, genuine thoughts, not filtered, not really scripted. We have some idea of what we're going to talk about, but. Most of the time, like like last episode, we just now, freestyle talking. This but is the, this, this is episode, our episode with the medium. Now she knows some shit. Now she may we'll say yeah. Well, this episode, I got say, questions. Be skeptical. She may or may not know shit, but we're going to yeah. get in there and find out. So yeah, right. I probably right. don't know shit, but <laughs> so <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. And if you and if you and if you know that about yourself, then that 
I, I appreciate yeah. that because other people that just walk around with some fucking Doctor Strange crystal in their head saying, I have seen all that no, I can see and all this bullshit. Go fuck, go no. fuck yourself. So before we go further, how how would you like to be referred to? Because I'm really I'm really gonna say Jesus all the time. If, if, if yeah, well, fine. you know, it's it, and it's funny that I even came up with that name because I'm not a Bible thumper. I, I there's a reason, there's a story behind it. But you can call me uh, Tiffany. You can call me Tiff. You can call me Medium Chick. You can. I, I mean, I really don't care what you call me. Okay. Um, okay. I, but you keep going because my first question is when and how did all this shit yeah start? so um the it really started literally one day um so you don't just wake up mm-hmm. and I, I actually i was listening to one of you guys's podcast your most recent just kind of familiarized myself with mm-hmm. you guys and your style and everything and you guys actually talked about this like you don't wake up one day and are like, I'm a medium. And I mean, you do, I did, Mm -hmm. but I've been a medium my whole life. I just didn't realize it. Okay. So, um, it was really funny. What you guys were saying were, was really on target because, um, it, I wasn't scared or anything like that. I was like, Oh fuck, that makes sense. (laughs) Like I could have saved a lot of money on therapy (laughs) if I would have known this earlier. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, right. So, um, I think that was. So I, I think that was episode, the last episode we were talking about how, like, if you're yeah. a kid, it is just sort of one of these things that you, you just experience it. You don't, you don't have a label to it because you're. It's just your every day, and maybe you have an imaginary friend that is pretty cool and sticks around longer than whatever. You know, yeah. So was it yeah. like that for you? So, yeah, so that's funny you bring up the imaginary friend because I had several imaginary friends, um, and but I don't remember them, and I just remember being told like I would play school mm-hmm. and I would just I would play with them. And my sister was older, only four years older, but I just really kind of kept to myself a lot. Um, and um, I did grow out of that. Um, so I think there's several things that happen. I mean, when you're a child, I'm sure you know you know, well, that's not real, blah, blah, blah. I did have some childhood trauma. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know that that probably, you know, helped things or didn't help things, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Um, I had an innate sense though. Um, like I knew my surroundings, like I, people, certain people scared me and I got bad vibes from them. I remember this very, at a very young age. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and I could just tell when people were off meaning like, you know, maybe they mentally weren't, you know, all there or whatnot. Um, and so I had several things that happened in my childhood that, um, I just acted like I was an adult about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and so, I mean, yeah, that's the only really thing I can think of from childhood. And you guys were also bringing up which you were so on point because, this does run in families. Um, my grandmother actually, we, I, I feel bad now. I mean, she's, she's passed on. Mm-hmm. She's with me though. But um, we kind of made fun of her sometimes. You don't have to uh, whisper, honey. She can hear you. I don't want to put that in there. But she would see things occasionally and we thought she was either going crazy or right. she thought we thought she was joking. Right. Well, she, she wasn't. And her mother actually, um, they put her in the psych ward. She was in a straight jacket and right. she was, it was, it was horrific, but they had later come to me in spirit and explained to me that they actually had the gift. But you know, back then it was just not accepted as it is now. See, that's, um, but, that's an interesting thing too, because I th- I think that sometimes it just gets this really weird, ambiguous kind of title to it. No one really dives deeper than that. They just say, oh, she's got the gift Mm -hmm. and they leave it at that. And it's not Mm -hmm. necessarily joking, but the same thing, so to speak, with how diabetes is usually referred to as the sugar. And you're like, well, what, yeah. what is that? Oh, you got the sugar. I don't know what that means. And it's really something that's actually is that, harmful. Is that a thing? And I think that if you got, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I used to call it the sugar all the time. I'm like, oh, you got the sugar. Yeah, it, I, 
it's a weird kind of thing because you got like you got uh like like dementia and yeah. dementia and alzheimer's that's, that's usually bought that usually gets lumped in with oh you're just getting senile no you you might have some serious <laughs> shit going on and but you don't you yeah. don't get it diagnosed because everybody just lumps it in as saying it's something that happens when you get older and you get senile oh, okay mm -hmm. but really it it might be the onset of dementia neither one of those is comparable to the gift and i i think that with your point it's it's very interesting when you've got family members that have something passed on to them and they're just like what the fuck do i do with this i don't know what's happening because they don't really pass along an instruction manual of how yeah. how how to manipulate use and and live your life with the gift well, i also want to just ask you real quick uh tiffany yeah how many certifications do you have to have in order to be a medium go and answer that for me <laughs> okay, nothing you don't want me to answer that for you that is, like, that's, that's <laughs> one of the really? questions i had too well uh, well it was kind of sort of one of them it was one of them that i'd walk into but um i think yeah we can jump to that um and, we, and then we can come back later to it as well. It, do you feel like, do you feel like you get um, kind of this shit thrown at you from spirits more or from people? Like you, I think that, I, I think that there's a lot of skepticism and, you know, I got some fingers pointed at myself when I say that around mm -hmm. people that are like okay yeah but you're not a medium if you can't do this or you can't do that and recently in, in in conversations we were just having i heard that there was certifications and how 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 does that work well yeah that's a that's a great question um i just realized that i i call myself the janitor of mediums mm -hmm. um because i came upon this TikTok and they were you know these two women were the Karens of, of mediumship, apparently. And, you know, well, we're certified. How blah, blah, blah. does well, that work? Well, I don't know. Because um, here's the thing. And, and I want to go back. I, I, I don't want to get off trail, but it, it really isn't a gift. I mean, it yeah. is a gift and it isn't. First of all, it's not everyone has it. Yeah. They really do. Okay. Because when I tell you certain things that I do, I guarantee you this has happened to you. I am just more in tune with it. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. And I trust it now. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I don't really have a gift mm -hmm. more than anyone else. I am no better than anyone else. I just am. The only thing I'm better at is trusting it and, and um, looking for this, you know, knowing the signs and the, and, and the things that's really it. But no one. So do you, you do, do you look at it like a, do you look at it like a, okay, everyone can run, but some people can tap into running, you know, tap into really using their, their limbs to run better and just focus and just, you know, train yeah. for lack of a better word and just yeah, get better I was at gonna it. I say train okay. for sure, because really, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, that's what I've been doing is training for it. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I literally put myself out on live TikTok to the wild, wild west. I mean, what TikTok is the wild, wild west. Right. And I just kind of sat there feeling really naked and not scary because that would have gotten me bananaed, but um, banned is you know, but right. um, just and I just kind of worked with it and fucking hell. Okay, go ahead. She did. Yeah, because you don't say. Don't, don't. I guess you don't mm -hmm. say banned mm -hmm. on TikTok, so people say they get banana. I, banana I don't know. Time, then I had a kid. I watch so. way too much fucking TikTok. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> Me too. So I'll try and keep it in. Yeah, but then you meant I was trying to keep my questions in a, like a chronological <laughs> order kind of thing. Yeah, and I was gonna say I'm yeah, right. terrible because I sidetrack. Oh, I just wanted to talk about that gift. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like two people with ADD. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Here you go. Um, you dumb yeah. bitch. Um, yeah, right. Exactly. And and my threesome is with a medium. That's a, that's even better. Um, Try to keep up. So how like how frequent is it? Is it is it like something that's always on? Uh, yeah, you, you you can't turn it off. You can't turn it on. And do you have to focus, or does it just happen? 
No, so it just happens. Um, but okay. really, um, it's always on. It's always been on. Okay, but mm-hmm. I did not realize that I, I am the only one who can control it. And that is really, um, really mm-hmm. what I am learning at this point in in my mediumship, if you will, is mm-hmm. really how to control it and how to set boundaries for spirit. Okay, so mm-hmm. spirit, um, I and then too going back to the, the certification too, I, I, nobody taught me how to do this. Spirit right. came through to me, and I was like, oh fuck, I'm a medium. Um, I don't know how I got to that realization, but mm-hmm. that's I just I just had a knowing, and that's all of my stuff is just a knowing. So spirit doesn't need to teach me how to be a medium. Now I have one met some wonderful people on TikTok that have taught me how to protect myself um, with spirit, how to have mm-hmm. boundaries. And that's really what I'm learning now. So, that's okay. That's interesting yeah. too. You have to, you, you kind of have to learn the techniques and and ways of going about doing it instead of just running out there naked saying, here you go. I was like a bull on a china shop. That's just kind of my personality anyways. I do feel that I have learned much quicker. I mean, I I am, again, no better uh, than anyone else. However, Mm -hmm. the only way that I'm more advanced maybe than someone else would be at this point is because I do throw myself out there because I really just have zero F's. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm 45. I've spent my whole life like yearning for what the hell I'm supposed to do. I was in a banking career for 23 years. That was soul sucking. And it's Uh like, okay, this is what the fuck I've been always supposed to be doing. And I'm going to throw myself out there and I'm going to get better each day. Um, It hasn't been pretty, um, but I have been um, amazed and and, like it's purely from God, these people coming to me in my life from TikTok. I swear to you, it's it's crazy how supportive of a group I have. Um, I feel blessed. It's always on. And so Mm -hmm. that means like fucking shitting, driving, you're you've got the potential of a spirit to tap you on your shoulder and say, Hey, Hey, can we talk? Or, you know, mm-hmm. is, I mean, it, is it, kind of, is it, is it to that level or, or am I, yeah. or am I, am I doing it? No, I mean, I, I mean, they don't, um, they don't usually want to be around when I'm, um, when I'm on the pooper, but, um, I, <laughs> I, I got some IBS problems, so I don't blame them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, but um, since they, you started, do you feel like it's happening more frequent? Or, or, and, and being pushy? No, actually it's happening less. Really? Yeah. And I mean, there's so much to the story. I mean, I was uh, heavily medicated. I was on four milligrams of Xanax a day. Um, I don't know if you know anything about Xanax, but that is a huge dose. I take Mm -hmm. zero now. Um, Mm -hmm. I was actually at 120 on an antidepressant. They don't even recommend 120, but the psych Mm -hmm. ward gave it to me. Um, I'm on 30 now. So um, when I wasn't able to handle all this anxiety and depression, I went to the pharmaceuticals because Mm -hmm. I thought I had depression and anxiety. Um, You know, something that you should try. What's that? (laughs) I said, I've got something that you should try. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's all natural. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, not I mean, Jesus, that, but Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, the gummy is another story because that's really how it all started. It's a natural gummy. But anyways, um, so you know, I could never turn it off. I was full of anxiety. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I almost attempted, you know, my life. Um, mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's been a very bad struggle. So now I'm able to finally control it, and I have no anxiety. I have nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm wow. able to control it. I never, ever had where there wasn't a thought in my head. I thought everyone mm-hmm. was like that. And that is the ADD, but there is yeah, a huge connection to ADHD and spirit. Just really? So Which I'm learning. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's not me peeing. I'm pouring water. Oh, okay, good. Thanks for letting me know, because I would have been like, wow, we are just so... I was... oh, <laughs> Well, if you're making straining sounds, I'm not believing you. <laughs> so, okay, then while you're pouring water, I'll, I'll continue with my interrogation. 
so <laughs> like don't get for, too me, wrong. For, for a lot of people they and i'm speaking for a lot of people and some of our 16 listeners will probably say he's full of shit and whatever <laughs> I'm Wait, sure no, you have at least 27, 27 now, it's 27 now. Um, so what's the difference between, okay, I'll give you my definition. I feel like the difference between a psychic and a medium is that a psychic is an event, event driven um, reader, uh, so to speak. And a medium is more of a spirit or being um, conduit or reader, so to speak. Is that, is that, pretty much um yeah i don't i don't know i don't really have an exact definition i personally don't know it is hard because people would classify me as a psychic medium i don't think i'm psychic really? i don't know that anyone is a psychic uh, yeah they really go well here's the thing i've heard this i mm -hmm. heard if you're a psychic you you're not necessarily a medium okay mm -hmm. but if you're a medium you're always you're always going to be a psychic and a medium you just get the medium the mediumship first. The people can tell you stuff. What's that? Because people, the people that you're speaking to, the dead, can tell you stuff. So technically, that would be psychically. Yeah, know. exactly. And yeah. I really do. I do believe that the. I believe psychics. That's really where they're getting their information as well as spirit. Yeah. They just may not know it. Um, wow. But psych, psychic is hard because you have free will. So. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I wow. don't really like the term psychic personally. Mm -hmm. um, I don't normally, um, I don't, now spirit does tell me information. I have heard about, mm -hmm. oh, you're going to have a child. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, the last live I got onto, I had literally two people that came on my live and they're like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. You told me that. I was like, oh God, people are never going to want to talk to me because, yeah. you know, I curse them with the, because <laughs> I, She's you know, the baby medium. I'm the baby medium. I put a baby in me. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, and I'm very, very careful. Another thing that you brought up on, on the, the last episode was, I think you had said something about ethics. And listen, we don't have a contract. We don't have any bylaws or mm -hmm. any bullshit on ethics. But I really um, am very funny about stuff that I tell mm -hmm. people or because people can really you know, be fucked up by it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of, I think some people have this impression that they want to talk to somebody, but they really don't know, like they want to talk to them in hope, in hopes of hearing certain things, but not maybe what they hear it, um, you know, not maybe what comes through and that can, that can, that can fuck some people up because maybe there's a family secret they didn't know about. And the next thing you know, they're hearing something about some something that turns their whole reality upside down. Who knows? Um, yeah, and, and and you know, I've been lucky. I have listen. Spirit will rat you out. I mean, quicker than uh, right. I don't know what, but they will rat you out. Okay. Now, any time I've had anything like that, I've had some pretty Jerry Springer moments of mm -hmm. like with, with family. But the people who are, you all, are the father. What's that? You are the father. Yeah, but people pretty much, they already knew. So I yeah. always tell spirit, you know, don't make me be the first one to come out and tell these people. I, you know, usually it's just me either confirming something they already know mm -hmm. um, or they already know it. Now, I do have yeah. sometimes people come through and, um, you know, the person's like, oh, my God, I, I hope that person's not dead. And I'm like, oh, don't do this to me, spirit. Um, right. You know. Cause I don't want to be the one that, you know, tells. Yeah. Them, you don't want to be the, yeah. You don't want to yeah. be the one that reveals. Yeah. Um, so one thing about me is, um, I can't lie to people. I can't tell you something that just makes you, it makes it sound good. Um, mm -hmm. and some people don't, another thing is, uh, you know, people come in talking, wanting to talk to a medium and they have expectations. I know I did too. I went to a medium desperately seeking to talk to my grandfather who, might I add, never fucking came through to me. Um, nice. But he knew, he knew that I would eventually be able to talk to him anyway. But when you have expectations like that, um, it doesn't always hold up because spirit comes through when they want to come through, you know? And right. you may not be ready. Just like you said, you may think you're ready, but you may not be. And sometimes yeah. they don't have anything to say and they just don't come through. You know, it's just... It's just weird. It just, I don't have it all figured out. And that's why I tell people, I don't know, you know? Yeah, I, I think that, um, I think that 
people have that expectation and they they really feel like okay now I, I I don't know. I think to so to some degree, it all can get lumped into as closure for whatever it is they're trying to talk to somebody for the last time, or because they couldn't make it there when when they were dying, or they had some question, and you know, Grandpa Jack would be the one to know, or whatever. And so they go to a medium, and hopefully they can connect with the right person, and it gets done. I think that. Uh, let's see. The other question that I had kind of bleeds right into that, and uh, you know, mediums are, from my understanding, mediums are somewhat lumped in with paranormal, and yeah. it's, it's it's like you you know they see them as almost like a living Ouija board, and uh, do you do you feel like that? Do you resent that? Do you kind of understand how? that that kind of correlates or or what what what's your take what's your perspective on that yeah so no i don't i don't resent that at all um the paranormal i don't know what an actual definition would be of a par- what paranormal is but par i mean we we can't see spirit right we mm-hmm. can't we can't see them so it's unexplained it's unexplainable i mean there's no scientist that can sit and say you know this this and this i mean it is just unexplainable. And that's what I, you know, that's how I connect the two. Also, they mm-hmm. do fuck around and find out. So, like, they love to play with electronics. <laughs> they love to, you know, they love to mess with with me, for sure. Like, you know, mm-hmm. with um, audio. Um, like, a lot of times I have problems with um, my clients. You know, I, I, I don't, I guess they're clients. I don't know. But I, I have a lot of times with the problems with the phone because the phone will break up. Mm-hmm. Literally, I had this one person and spirit did not want me to know what she was saying. She said it three times. And every time she talked about this one particular thing, it would cut out. Um, hmm. So they there. It's all it is. is Spirit is frequency. OK. And so yeah. frequency can do things and they don't always mean to do shit. Mm-hmm. I have had many a times where they're like, yeah, we didn't mean to scare that person. Um, we didn't really even know what was going, you know, they didn't really know they were kind of working with their powers too. Okay. Yeah. Um, now I don't play around with Ouija. I don't, I never, I, I did. We had a Ouija board when I was very little, young. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why, but we did. I never really thought anything of it. I had little Ouija boards, like a little keychains around my house until mm-hmm. I, started when until I was doing this and I was like oh no Ouija boards are very bad I don't know why they're bad I don't know I don't really even I I mean I if you believe in good you really have to believe in bad so there I'm sure there's evil spirit and things like that I'm so I that's the only thing I can think of what it why a Ouija board is bad Um, I just know it's bad I don't Hmm. I don't know if that makes sense but no 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 that I I can kind of understand that I literally threw all those Ouija board keychains away. I don't fuck around with Ouija boards. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's interesting how certain things get lumped in, and then there's yeah, and there's the people that are in those different um, group settings that'll say, "Nah, I really don't relate with that," or "I really don't." This is sort of the stereotypical thing that you mm-hmm. think of. I mean, I'll I'll be completely transparent. I. Well, not completely transparent. Who are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> but before you got on, we were talking about all the stereotypical things that, you know, oh, I'm talking to a medium. Oh, well, I'm sure, you know, the, they have a hand woven shawl around their, you know, around their shoulders. And they've got, <laughs> right. and they've got you know, 12,000 incense burning. And, it's, and so it's got this haze in the room. And there's a, a moon chart. They're, they're in a room. <laughs> They're in a room, but they've got it like some pitch tent thing coming around. And yeah, you got to, and there's a, there's definitely the a stuffed bird somewhere. And it, I think that, <laughs> I think there's always these stereotypes of what yeah. it is that it gets lumped in. It's like, is she, it, oh, that's a medium. No, that's a fortune teller. No, that is this. No, that is a very, very big grab bag of paranormal. Mm-hmm. Like you'll see, these, you'll see these paranormal shows and it's like, oh, we have, blah 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 and they're a medium just in case we need to contact the spirit and i was like okay so i guess it's all in that toolbox i don't know um it's just it's just very it's very interesting how 
that is all just stereotypically lumped and then having the opportunity to talk to a medium you get to ask these questions like how the fuck do you feel about that and that's that's why that's why i was asking because like i was saying it's like it's almost uh like you were talking about with with the frequency it's very interesting to me because that's that's like right up that's diverging right into a lane of nikola tesla and talking about how he he saw all of, all of what we were and what we're able to to connect with our frequencies and so it's interesting um, you bring up that that well it, absolutely i mean and at tesla the 369 um mm -hmm. that okay i literally was able to unlock shit from listening to that frequency Hmm, I'm not okay. even kidding you. I mean, that's something I, and I think I might have told Amy that. I, I think I, I, I mm -hmm. contribute um, my being able to really unlock this, you know, other than knowing that I was by the 369, listening to the frequencies and meditation. Mm -hmm. I was able to meditate because of the frequencies. Um, everyone yeah, can do it. Yeah, every, everyone can do it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's all about that. And, and to go back to on the mediums, every medium, you could talk to 10 different mediums and they're going to tell you 10 different things. I mean, the basics will be there, but every, it, just like personalities, everybody does it differently. No better, no worse. It's just different. I'm mm -hmm. literally the least medium looking, feeling, talking person. I'm a soccer <laughs> mom from Ohio at 45. Right. Okay. Right. So, um, I mean, you know, so, you know, I think it's just their interest maybe that they like that. You know, I mean, I do the crystals. I was interested in crystals before I knew I was a medium. I do believe mm -hmm. in crystals. Um, I but just like rocks. You like rocks? <laughs> I really like rocks. <laughs> no, I'll go put on my helmet. I'm fine. It's fine. Yeah. I'm fine. I like rocks. <laughs> I, I think that it's just really what you you know they some people might you know gig it up a little bit you know right. drama it up a little that's what I yeah, think yeah. some of that is but um you yeah it's just really all your person it's just your personality um that's interesting to me that that's thought. something that you use the the 369 um mm -hmm. that was fair that was that's really interesting because I I I really, uh, I think that Tesla is like someone that a lot of people missed out on and, um, mm -hmm. you know, of, of everything that was going on with it and what he was doing and, and uh, how it all played out in in the end. Um, so it's interesting that you keyed in on a couple of those things. And so I just wanted to bring that up. Um, one of the things that is also depicted and you kind of touched on it a little bit so i want you to expound upon it a little bit more was in regards to not well by way of spirits there there would be the physical displays you see whatever whatever movie there's always going to be a possession do you, and you kind of touched i feel like you kind of and if i if i'm wrong just say you're fucking wrong uh, with, have you come into, like you were mentioned with the phone, this physical displays of spirits using you or using this opportunity now that they're connected to, with someone to, to do something physical or to even possess you. And I know you had mentioned that you have come to realize how to protect yourself. It, are you protecting yourself because there's opportunities of those types of things that can occur? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, people don't realize this, um, but yeah, spirits can absolutely attach to you. I did have it. Um, I had a really bad couple weeks, um, um, a couple weeks ago, actually, and I was really, really struggling. And I was just like, I wasn't my fucking self. I, um, I just couldn't get, I just couldn't get things done. And so I called a friend of mine, actually, who I met through TikTok, and she does Reiki. And I'm telling you what, Reiki is legit, okay? Um, hmm. I don't understand it. I don't know how it works, but it's all about energy, okay? And Reiki is very spiritual in the spiritual realm as well. The chakras, all that shit, okay? It's mm -hmm. real. I didn't think it was what it is. And she... My wife is good at that. 
really that's true. yeah she can like put her hands like just hover it over somebody's body mm-hmm. and know where they're hurting wow that's amazing it's crazy that is now that is a gift uh to be able to do that um and we probably all can it's just again you know getting into it but um so she did this I called her I was desperate and I was just like hey um Pam help me out here and um, I'm like really struggling and so she on the phone with me she did this energy and she says yeah you have attachments and they weren't negative I mean they weren't like demons or anything like that because I don't fuck around okay I'm Mm -hmm. really also highly protected um through my spirit guides and things like that. But you still have spirits that want to attach to you if you don't properly, you know, work with intention and, you know, set things up for boundaries. So I did have some that just wanted to hang with me. And um, so she worked on it and I felt immediately like better. And so she was able to teach me how to do these boundaries. And I have a little fairy door now that I make spirit go through. They have to go away. And I, um, uh, then they come through that fairy door. So it's, it really, you know, it's when people say that's in your imagination, that's her imagination. It is, that's what it is. It's your imagination, but it's also real. So that's, it's crazy. I know, but um, if you can imagine it, it's real. Yeah. I, I'm trying to right now. I, you can't. I mean, you won't, you won't be able to. I'm, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm letting you know, I'm, I'm squinting my eyes at the screen right now. I'm trying to imagine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm, and I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not tr- trying to say bullshit to you at all. It's just a matter of when somebody, when somebody's talking about something that you just really. Yeah. You can't yeah. get your arms around it. Yeah. It's like, okay, this is a really thick book. I'm only going to read <laughs> this page. The rest of it is beyond my comprehension at yeah. this time. I mean, I- you can call me bullshit. I mean, cause it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm right. saying? It doesn't bother me because I would last year, I would have told you you're fucking full of shit and you're, you have a wild imagination. You're cuckoo. Right. Um, so you it can doesn't, say, it, you can take it because you, you're living it. You're experiencing it. You know what it. Yeah. And, um, I like, just so you know, you, you do have a spirit here with you. Um, she, she's actually just, she keeps bothering me to be honest with you. I keep pushing her off. I don't want to hear any um, spirits. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't want to hear any spirits. If they didn't have anything to say to me at the time, I don't know what they're going to say to me now. Yeah, no. So you don't have to. As a, I knew spirit would come through for you, but but here's the thing: like, um, I'm not here to um, I'm not here to make anyone believe because honestly, I could tell you everything but someone's social security number, and you still wouldn't fucking believe. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I, like the internet is alive and well, and who knows, you might be the, you might be the yeah, and, and hacker you, out there. Right, and and people, you will always have some kind of explanation on why I knew that. Right, uh, she right. Googled me. She did this. She did that. She remembered stuff. You know, so it, it it's futile, and and I don't yeah. even I don't have the energy to even try to convince people. Right, but, trying to make believers. So, hey, dude. Mm-hmm. Are you are you even remotely curious? I knew this. I knew that was gonna eat at you. I knew it was like. I was like I'm just. I mean, how do you not? I would be like, well, um, what? Like, I think, I think for me, it is a thing of. I don't know what I would want to to connect with, and for, like for me. I think that if I had that desire, I would have, I, I wouldn't have waited for Jesus to join us. I would have, I would have, I would have thought out a medium way before now. You, you know what I'm saying? Yes and no. You yes know what I'm saying? No. I mean, I, mean yeah. I, I, I think that, I think that for me right now, if, if to hear from or to connect with or whatever the term is to be used uh, with the spirit, then it would be like, I don't know, that gate is open now. You know what I'm saying? Like that's something that, that, and I am, I am very much um, respectful in regards to the, the, like the attachment you were talking about. Mm -hmm. I think that 
Look, look, I don't have a spirit condom on, so I'm gonna get some shit. And I <laughs> and I d I don't know how to I don't know how to stake that. Um there's no shot for it, there's no pills, there's no salve to rub that shit off. So Dude, you nasty, you got the spirit on you. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Um, I, spirit juice. And well, I know I'm not a, I know I'm not a good person. So whatever spirit's gotta say something to me probably ain't gonna be pretty either. That's not true. But here's the thing. Um, so um, I don't have, uh, listen, everybody has ego. I try very hard to work on my ego. So mm -hmm. it, for me to tell you who I have or what they have to say, I don't know what they have to say. I have somebody, I know who it is, but it doesn't, I, I respect your boundaries. Yeah. So they, let's say that I said, okay, this is who I have. I would have to get your permission to talk to them before they would even tell me anything. That's how it works. For me, anyways, I See, can't tell you how the mediums work. Yeah, so that so basically, and I'm 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 just simplifying it. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, it's like you've got a request, and you're just the conduit to hey, we got a request for you, and if that person says no, nah, I'm not taking any requests then that request doesn't come through it you don't really have a you don't have a or maybe you do do you have a understanding of like oh it's this person or is a female or is this relation mm -hmm. to you or is this that or the other or is it or is it just a really anonymous request no so i i have i know the person i know if it's a female or a male Okay. And I know the relationship usually. Now, it can get tricky because uh -huh. sometimes they will come through as a sister and it will really be a mother, but they had a very much sisterly bond huh. uh, or very much sisterly relationship. So, you know, people sometimes get frustrated and they're just like, well, you should have known that. Well, you know, it's not an, it's not an actual, I pick up the telephone, ATT call and say, oh, okay, you want to talk to so-and-so. It's just not like that. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Um, it's a There's, bit of a charades puzzle piece at times. Yeah, there's no um, caller ID for spirits. There's no caller ID. I, I don't have call waiting. I, it just doesn't right. work that way. You just kind of got to bear with me. Um, and so you have to be, in order to, um, it, like, if I just told you shit, and, and that would be, uh, yeah, I mean, I would I would spew spirit on you, and you're not, it, it, I don't worry about your protection, but it's more of a respect thing, Okay. You have to be able to be ready to receive. You may never be ready to receive, but know that they're we're already with you anyways. So right. protected or not protected. So here's what happens. Because they're with you, because I'm talking to you, that's why they're with me. One quick analogy I'm going to tell you. Let's say that you went somewhere and they were speaking a foreign language, okay? Uh -huh. And you found a translator, okay? Yep. Well you're going to want that translator to be like, Hey, can you fucking tell me what they're saying? You know, yeah, and yeah. then uh, any, some of your friends that also didn't know, they're going to be like, Hey, I know this translator. That's all I am is I'm really a translator. I'm, I'm bridging the gap between the two worlds. That's they're a good, already there. That's a good analogy. I like that. I, I dig that. Um, Thanks. I've, I've experienced, website, I've experienced that before. Yeah. Um, so they're already with you. Right. Just, so, yeah. That's what I was wondering as well. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I always assume that because it does run in my family as well. And mm -hmm. I've, I can admit that it's more or less more apparent for me when I'm dreaming. When I'm sleeping, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, now I'm connecting with people that I have not seen in some time or or whatever more so though for you when you're connecting with people and like you were saying the attachment can that kind of do you know if that skips over like say for instance you're talking to someone and you're protected so they can't really attach to you but hey that person she's talking to isn't let me go over there and they might be related in regards to you know it's your uncle or no. whatever it, how does that work 
Yeah. So, um, it's, it, it, hold on. It's your family. I mean, your family's not attached to you. They're already attached to you. I will tell you that you as well have abilities and, and I already know that you know that, but there's something about it that scares you. Okay. And that's normal. I don't know if something happened to you. I don't. I don't know. I mean, that's it's it's normal to have that, but nothing is going to attach to you because it's your family. Number one, I'm not talking to someone who is. You know, I don't talk to demons. I don't talk to any of that bullshit. I have yeah. a prayer to say, and um, but I know what you're saying. But no. Um, but I mean, like some people don't want to have. Some people don't. Some people don't want some family members attached to them anymore. Like, say, for instance, if they went through abuse or something like that, mm-hmm. uh, they don't they don't want that particular person around in their life physically, let alone now in a spirit form. Does is yeah, that well, an issue? Well, here's the thing: um, spirit's going to be around you whether you like it or not. True. Um, this is true. Yeah. So this understand true. this. Now, you absolutely, in your head or even out loud, say, listen, you motherfucker, I don't want you around me, so get out of here. You could absolutely say that, okay? And they would have to respect it. But when they go to the spirit world, they're no longer an abuser. They are no longer any of those things. They are around you to try to make an a, a pe- to try to make an amends, okay? So they actually right. help you and guide you in your life, mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I do believe when they come through to me, they have the exact same personality that they did. I believe that is only for validation reasons. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that there's still a motherfucker over there, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I believe that they're a motherfucker for validations because they were a motherfucker in life, you know? Yeah. Okay. That's interesting that they... But I have... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have had people that come through and it was an abuser uh-huh. And um, the person said to me, I tell them up front, if there's somebody who comes through you do not want to talk to, it is your reading. And they have told me I don't want to. And I say, okay, I'm done. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it doesn't really, like, I don't feel like anybody would get attachments how, like how I had it unless you're in the spiritual work like I am. I don't mm. think an average Joe would get an attachment like that. I think mm-hmm. they attach to me because they know that they can get something from me. I'm going to communicate, you know, but I don't think that that happens to the average Joe. I could be wrong hmm. again, but that's just my thought process. Hmm. So you, so you, that was actually one of my questions I had down here. Do you screen uh, contact? So you kind of put, some spirits and check in regards to like, okay, are you, are you going to be an asshole? Are you going to be, you know, you're going to, this person wants to talk to you. Are you cool? Um, and, and vice versa, you let the, you let the, uh, the person or the client, so to speak say, okay, I, are you, who do you not want to hear from or talk to or get in contact with? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, I, I already, they already, Spirit already knows who I am, okay? Mm-hmm. And they also know when I do my my prayer, my intent, when I, before I start any reading, I do the same prayer and, and just say that who I, you know, I only talk to people who walk in the bright light, okay? Oh, and okay. So they already know. Now, do they slip through? Absolutely, okay? Mm-hmm. But they're never going to be an asshole with me because I, I just don't allow them to. I have wonderful boundaries with spirit, not so much humans, but spirit. <laughs> I, yeah. I will cut a bitch. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> now. I didn't say neither. Yeah. What? That's hilarious. You showed it. Say that. So wait, do you have, um, like if you have, have you come across an incident where, you have to be talking to that person in order for the spirit to want to, to connect. You've never had a spirit that just sought you out and said, Hey, uh, go find, go find Charlie. He's a homeless dude in Seattle. And I, I got something to tell him. Yes. And no, I have had that happen only with people that I know though. So when I first realized that was a medium, I literally, I, this, and this was the only really thing that it didn't scare me, but it really fucking overwhelmed me. As soon as mm-hmm. I realized I was a medium, I literally saw people I knew 
lined up and then all of these faceless people lined up to eternity. You saw people was, lined up in, yes. in faceless people lined up? Yes. I knew people, they were knew they were my family, but then these people were, the rest of them were faceless to me. Okay. What the fuck? And that was the only moment that I was really overwhelmed because I was like, cause it really is like, the floodgates of open now because of what I do I don't think that would I'm not pressing you to get a reading I'm not pressing that I'm just telling you that I don't think those gates open if you just do a reading because it's people that were already around you but for me yeah. they line up and they're like shit people she knows she know you know that I'm just like, she knows that's, that's what I'm like right. they're like finally she finally realized it and so they all line up um, now, so the, a lot of the people that were my friends and had lost loved ones, yeah, they wanted me to seek them out. Okay. And I have actually restored some relationship uh -oh. because of that. Cause I was like, Hey, yeah, I haven't talked to you for 25 years, but I talked to dead people and your dad wants to talk to you. So hold on. I've I think, that. That, I think all the spirits are fucking with your audio right now. It keeps saying that your, your, your recording is failing. Um, but oh, again, yeah. But again, there's an asterisk here. We are the 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 shittiest. Well, well you know, what you shittiest. expect. But is it just interesting that it's only happening to you? Yeah, it's it's spirit. It's spirit. It happens all the time. It, it is actually very annoying. But there might be something they didn't want me to say or something. I don't know. Does spirit? Okay. Well, then this may just blow everything up. Does spirit get upset if if like they're not allowed to speak? No, they're mostly never allowed to speak. I mean, I allow, I'm the one who's in control. Now, I forget that sometimes. Um, and I do let them use me sometimes. That's the only time I really get resentful is when I do shit, say shit. Um, even with you, Amy, and when we had a reading, I won't talk too much about it, but I said something that was very out of characteristic for me. And, um, and you're like, oh, so-and-so said that all the time. And I was like, I get sometimes pissed because I'm like, do I even have a personality or am I just right. a vessel? Mm -hmm. And so I, I do, I do have, I do struggle with that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or when I do I don't, things. I don't mind sharing. Are you talking about what my dad was saying? Yes. He had me say it today so too. To be a decent <laughs> fucking human being. Yes. The, yes. The what? Yeah. So dude, you know how I always say like people just need to be decent fucking human beings. Yeah. My dad said that. In oh, the okay. Reading. Okay. And that's not something I normally say. Oh, so, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And that happens a lot. And I do get sometimes pissed because I'm like, I mean, I'm going to relay the message and I'm, I'm great for, grateful for that. But mm -hmm. I do sometimes say, what is my personality? Am I even real? Am I just a conduit for... <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, really. no, yeah, I can, I can, I can understand that now. Yeah, and to get it through is like you, you. It's it is a it is a, a gift and a curse because now, like you mm -hmm. were saying, you're a vessel, and you're just yeah. you're just being you're the thing that now allows. I'm saying us. I'm, I'm taking on the role of a spirit you're the thing that now allows us to communicate and we just mm -hmm. been itching to talk and now we got you great here's some people we want to talk to let's go and you're like no yeah. i i just i just i really just want to eat this sandwich no 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 let's go we are lined well, up I'm hungry, yo. look at the line hunger can wait trust us yeah <laughs> And, and that they're, they're, they, they, they don't have that control over me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, now have I done crazy shit for them? Absolutely. I'm a ride or die to a point. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like, you, yeah. You've done like, crazy I, I shit for spirit. Oh yeah. Listen, well, she, I've done crazy. I think there was shit. a barbecue or something. She threw him some fucking food or something. Oh, the, the crazy way. Well, we'll have to tell that barbecue story. Uh, uh, well, here's the thing I have on TikTok on my lives. I have an after, after, what is it called? I forget how it's called. See, I forget shit all the time. I forget. I will be reading someone in the middle of the reading. I forget who I'm reading. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. um, I think I call it after dark, after, or after life, after dark, something like that. And spirits get rowdy. We have a good old time. Sometimes I may or may not have had a gummy beforehand, but they get a little rowdy. So, um, 
they get yeah. real saucy. They flirt with me. It's a good old time. I tell you that. Um, but no, I'm in control. I'm in the driver's seat. I've told him to fuck off before. It's okay. Um, you know, like, oh, I almost slipped who I had. I almost slipped on who I had for you. Um, but that person, they're fine. They're fine. They, they respect you. And, and the thing is, is that they really knew, knew probably. Oh, did you hear that? No, you cut out some. Okay. Um, that maybe that's that person, but I think that person knew that you wouldn't want to hear from them. You know what I'm saying? So they, they're not shocked. They're not shocked, but, um, I, they left, I mean, they won't leave me alone. I know they're still with me, but it's, I can still talk. They're not yeah. consuming me because I'm in control of it. If you let them consume you, yeah, they'll walk all over you. Um, I think, and I did, I have done that before. Yeah. I think for me with people that I've had in the past, I, I pretty much say what I say and then that's that. And I don't, I used to say sorry a lot and I don't anymore because I start to really look at and think of exactly what it is I'm wanting to say and how I'm wanting to say it. And I don't, I, I, I more so regret actions now than what I say, because I really, like, even when you listen to this podcast, you know, people will say, yeah, I'm working on ironing, ironing out my, my, uh, speech pattern and, and, and delivery. And I don't want pauses. I have pauses because I'm thinking of what I'm saying and making sure it is what I want to say. And I've always done that because I, I revere words a lot and I, and use them, you know, to, to the best of what it is that I'm needing to achieve. So f for people that want to talk to me afterwards in like a spirit form, it's like, I, I know of some people that probably will want to say something to me, but at this particular point, it's like, look, I'm good. I really, I don't know how much of that will make whatever better. And I, I don't, like you were saying earlier, I don't know if I'm ready for that. And that's the thing. That person has to be ready for it. Like, oh, somebody, yeah. could, like somebody could say they're they're good or they're sorry, don't worry, and I just check you, I love you, whatever. But if I'm not ready for it, I'm just not ready for it. Yeah, absolutely. I would never push that on you. But also, just so you know as well, that um, it's just one person for you particularly, but they don't always have something to say. It's not always something proclaimed and I'm so sorry and I'm this. They could just want to say, hey, you're doing amazing and I love you. Or they could just want to say nothing and, and just, I'm here. Honestly, it, it, not every, not every, um, not every reading, they have something to proclaim. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, so that is, they just want to, they just want you to know that they're here, they're around you, they love you, they're with you, except during private time. Um, and, and that's really it. But yeah, you absolutely have to be ready to receive. So no one should push that on anyone. That's just, that's not how I roll. That's not how anyone should roll. Um, it's not about me showing off my abilities. Right. You know, it is about you. Um, it's about respecting a person, really. Ah, you, you gotta be. You gotta be shitty at a family reunion. You gotta be like. It's <laughs> 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 like you go into a family reunion, like fuck. I am just gonna eat potato salad. This is over the top. I cannot even. Like, there's got to be just weird spots where you are in, do you, and maybe that's a question I haven't even written down. When you go to public places, is that sort of like a, you stick to your game plan? I'm going over here to get toilet paper. I got to walk into Walmart. <laughs> Fuck me. Like, soon as you, soon as you get there, the door greeters got... You know, spirits like, hey, Larry Joe. And you're like, fuck, I just need toilet paper. <laughs> Is, does why it get overwhelming like that? Why do we have to be buying ass wipe, though? You couldn't have me buying, like, something else? Like, I don't know. The toilet paper was the first thing that popped in my head. I <laughs> mean, that's really not that it, romantic, but okay. It, it um, could have been, been Target, too, but I, <laughs> I, I set the scene at Walmart. I know. I mean, <laughs> bam, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm okay, cheap, okay, 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 scratch, 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 you're going to get some, uh, 
full body moisturizer at tampon. What? Tampons. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, so I'm fucked for saying toilet Nothing paper. Nothing in that area, please. <laughs> But then you go with tampons. Wow. Okay. So some full body massage, wipe, oil, <laughs> ointment thing in Target. Your mind went a little too much. Bring it back to the ass wipe. With, okay? some, with some candles. <laughs> with some candles. And, uh, you know. We're having a whole moment here. Wow. Okay, yeah. You're trying to. You're bring trying it back to, to the ass wipes. I just like to point that out. Yeah. You said that. Yeah. Okay. No, I heard it. It's like. Continue. And then, and then you're trying to check out, and you, you know, you just d- does it get overwhelming like that? No, not no, because I can turn it off. Um, okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, you're in control. Yeah, so I am more in control now. Yes. So wow. I'm just like everybody else. I go to the store just like that. Now, do I happen to know that that person's loved one passed? Yeah, sometimes I do. Like mm-hmm. I was literally at Walmart. I didn't buy by ass wipe though, or. Uh, toilet paper but, <laughs> um, I was at Walmart and I knew yeah. the gentleman's wife had passed did I say anything no I mm-hmm. have went up to strangers in the store because number one I was newer and I was I let spirit control me and I thought they had some burning message to you know tell people so I made myself look like a damn fool and did it but I mean I have been able to give wonderful, beautiful healing messages to people. I don't mind when spirit does that, but I just am not going to go up to the store and be like, did your wife pass? And he'd be like, yeah, right. and he's Damn. living with me. Yeah. Um, a stranger come up. Sorry for your loss. What? Right. So yeah, I do. I, I happen to know that now I don't go out that much to be honest with you. Um, I don't really, the family reunions, uh, that sounds like a horrible thing. I don't really have one. Family <laughs> yeah, that would be a horrible thing, right? Big part, no. Yeah. yeah. God, um, Jesus I, Christ, that would be fucked. I, when I do go out in big crowds, I remember very quickly why I don't go out in crowds. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I recently did a reading um, in a restaurant with 15 people, and it it was a lot. And with who? Um, what's that? With who? 16? 15, 15 people. Um, I knew one of them, two of them, the rest were strangers and I did a reading for them and, and the restaurant was very loud, which I've done that before, but it just, it, it, you know, it, it, it didn't go as, as I had planned it. And it was a little bumpy because some people came that were not receptive to either hearing a message or just being in my whole vibration. And it threw me off terribly. Wow. And, um, and, uh, so, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, I just don't know that I'm ready to do those right now. Now I can sit in front of a hundred some people on my TikTok live and do that all day. Um, but it's just very hard to get out there and, um, and be with people and, and their energy because I'm an empath and I take on people's energy. I take on when I cry, you know, I, I am like, am I crying for me or am I crying because they're sad? I don't know. You know, so mm-hmm. I'm still working mm-hmm. on that. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I'm able to go to the store and, and not get overwhelmed with it. I tell you what you don't have control over is mm-hmm. um, this, this fucking recording of you is probably going to be chopped up because whatever the fuck is happening, it's uh, <laughs> you're getting, you're getting chopped. Uh, it's not um, it's oh, weird, it. weird because it's not, it's not uh, all the time. It's just that when you start talking about spirits, it gets kind of weird. <laughs> they they must not like me talking too much. I must be telling too much. I don't want to see. I don't know if anybody else can see it on the screen, but uh, in any case, maybe. In any case, maybe it's like some slow <laughs> Morse code, which they're fucked. <laughs> No. I don't know more so you, you you might as well stop. I can't I can't read you whoever the fuck Well if you let me tell you who your people. spirit is, they're probably fucking it up. That's nope. what I'm just saying. No, because you know what? If they are, if they if if they are doing the Morse code, they would know I don't know Morse code. So that you know I don't know Morse code either. So so things get raunchy, yeah, yeah, right? I like it raunchy so though. as you said, things get a little rowdy, a little raunchy, a little rowdy, a little so, so is spirit fucking true? Is that like a thing? That is, is that, is that, a, or is that like a, that was, does that go into more of the 
the movie version of paranormal possession things of that nature is it, is it can it get to a level where things get more physical with your contacts but you're able to control it and allow access uh and and then end it uh, before it gets I think I'm out of I, control. I think I didn't hear that first part. What, if, what about? Are, are you, is, I was, did you get the part about the spirit fucking? Oh, no, I did not. Okay. 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 I was, was going to say, if you, if you didn't get, if you didn't get that part, the rest of it is kind of disconnected. Oh yeah, God. let me start at the top. Well, let me start at the top. I ask your <laughs> oh my god, that you was awesome! Even, <laughs> you didn't even give me any lube on that. Like you didn't like have like an intro. There was no. just like a let no. go. Okay, the internet I was today. not prepared. Yeah, yeah. So no, I did. I didn't. We just, we just, we just met, and no, I don't. I don't have romantic enough. things yet. I don't have romantic. No dinner. Moving. No drinks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All dog okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm like look. You got a lot on your mind. Let me just go ahead and get this spirit fucking going. So I was asking about spirit fucking. Is it true? Is it like, is it, or is that just some sort of movie possession kind of, I forget what the name of the movie was. So like this lady was tormented by, by one and, and it would just have its way with her every night. But um, is that something that you protect yourself from? In, yeah, you wear in, a or, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the ghost come, and 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 you're able to, like you were saying, control or 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 like it's like control or or completely set boundaries in that regard, so that nothing really gets out of hand and or physical like that. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, the whole time I was talking about that, it your your recording your 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 recording was just orange triangle it was like yeah we're not going to let it talk about that so apparently you, you got a spirit boyfriend but whatever <laughs> dang <laughs> mr invisible is getting you right <laughs> yeah that I was do. that was I like the that, that was like the electronic version of Shh, no 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 the <laughs> electronic <laughs> version crack talk blocked you <laughs> right yeah Absolutely. Okay, so here's the thing. So, I, can you put this? Are you gonna be able to put this on your podcast? I don't know. Oh, but yeah, we can't. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What well, you I, mean, so, I mean, everything that I've said, I don't know what you're about to say. <laughs> you're you're following up to somebody that's as is is spirit oh, fucking. That's real. fair. So, so. Okay. First of all, just for the record, I've never heard of spiritual fucking. Okay, so I do want to. If you think of that movie, I do want to know what that movie is. Looking um, it okay, up but, now. But, yeah, I do remember fucking... seeing it, and I just like to say thank you both for the oh. tennis match here. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna go number okay, one but, quick. But... Yes. <laughs> we'll see. You, we'll see. You gotta have. You gotta have parts, right, for a spiritual fucking. And I don't care what parts you have, but we're in a meat suit, okay? We wear around a meat suit. Not we're a spirit in a meat confused suit. with the meat puppet, huh? Yeah, yeah I usually I, use, I usually say meat puppet, but yeah, meat suit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. So, so that spirit, they don't have one. They, they're they just a frequency. Now, do we get it on in the in the, my dreamland? Probably. I mean, I'm okay with that. But, but they, they, I do believe that everybody has a twin flame. I'm not going to go too much into it, but oh, it's, no, it's all you're not. Oh, no, no, you're not. Yes, you are. Yes, you Wait, a twin what? Spirit's going to start <laughs> fucking with your shit if you don't. A twin what? Flame. A twin flame. Twin okay, wait, 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 wait. P L A N E or F L A fire. A M Okay, fire. flame. Okay, flame. I was making yeah. sure I wasn't hearing plane or flame. Okay, got it. Flame. Yeah, fire. Hot. Okay, okay. twin flame. <laughs> 
twin flame. Yeah. Wow. So what I do believe in that. Okay. And yes, I believe that until you, or you might not be reunited in this, this physical world, but you getting it on in the spirit world. Okay. So when you're sleeping, your meat body goes to sleep, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And your mind goes out and fucks around and finds out in the astral world and the spiritual world, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. God sure. knows what you're doing. That okay? Ectoplasm goes everywhere, right? You're right. Yeah. Ghost baby. Yeah. So what? Ghost baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was from a previous no. episode. Ghost baby came up a previous oh. episode. Oh, okay. So that happens. Yes. So I, I, I'm not going to go talk personally about me, but there are like, I mean, I, yeah. Uh, anyways. Yes. Hmm. So, wow. so you know, I don't think it's like fucking in the traditional sense, but yeah, merging of frequencies, if you will, merging of frequencies. Beautiful. There you go. Yes. You like that? Yeah. yeah it's okay. Beautiful. Great. So, but some people have that here in the physical world. Not yeah. uh, not everyone has a twin flame, or if they do, they're never. Go- some people are just never going to get it in this lifetime because in order to have your twin flame and to reunite with them, you got to be like, you got to be working on your shit. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people just are sleep. They're they're normies. We call them the normies. But okay. Um, you know, they're just not gonna, it's not gonna happen this lifetime. I believe in reincarnation. I believe that you are reincarnated and you are with the same person over and over and over again. Okay. And it's the spirit. So like, yeah, it can be, it can be, it doesn't necessarily have to be a man and a woman. It can be a woman and a woman, a man and a man. It doesn't matter. It's just spirit. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Huh. That's a good one. I, yeah, that that touches on a few things that I also um, <clears throat> very early on. I'm just like, yeah, that's something that we're all we're all just energy. We're all just, you know, whatever we are in the vessel that we're in, and mm-hmm. we, you know, I don't have it. I don't have it all figured out. Like we are reincarnated for a particular reason. Like some people will say like, uh, yeah, you until you get it right. You're just reincarnated until you get it right. I don't know all about that. All I just know is that um, I think that um, we don't have nearly the amount of shit that we think we do figured out. And uh, I've been saying it y'all. I think that, um, you know, there's a lot of what we don't know that we can't remember for whatever reason. And it's just living and reliving is more or less helping us have that those experiences where we can remember things. And when we fully understand that, then then we move on. And what is moving on? I don't fucking know. I might come back as a slug. I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, you know, uh, yeah, I'll, I know. I have no, I have no idea. I don't, I think it's pretty, um, I think it's pretty convenient to, you know, say you reincarnated and you're reincarnated exactly in a particular way, because I think that that way is only, the only reason why we're thinking of that way is because that's the only way we know. It, we, know yeah, no- no. we know nothing about being a raccoon. <laughs> hmm. You know what I'm saying? You see I'm, what I'm okay? okay not being a raccoon. <laughs> I'm okay with that. But no, I, I understand what you're saying. No, I, I believe that, um, um, you know, I believe that you are a man. Sometimes you're a woman, you're a tr- you're transgender, you're gay, you're, you're, um, different races. Right. Different different because yeah. thing, do you, you think have that, to, under- do you think huh. that that's why sometimes people are attracted to certain things just like, just without ever even being introduced to that thing they just are into it they just like a certain food no matter what they they they've never had it but the first time they've had it that's their thing that they can have for the you know for the rest of their the the rest of the time they're able to chew food or or a certain culture or a certain location do you think that that's kind of a a a 
aha, see, this is a little bit of evidence of that type of, of reincarnation and that type of um, experience that, that lingers from one life to another? A hundred percent. I will tell you that I, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but there is a person that I have met. Actually, there's two people I've met on TikTok. Um, and one of the, the people, they have similar memories as I do of a past life, mm-hmm. past life with each other. Mm-hmm. And the similarities that they remember and I remember are just too coincidental. It's, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Um, and then there's another person that have similar past life, but, it, but it not as like they just like they remember me from a past life. Like mm-hmm. it's my eyes. It, eyes are the soul, really. I, when you look into someone's eyes, that's their soul. Um, so 100%, you know, people, there's people that like certain time periods and they just resonate with them. Right. You know, there's people, there's children that, you know, are like old, old souls and um, they like certain things. Um, so yeah, I, I believe that that is just, their their core memory their their soul remembers it okay huh. um and you know it's not mistake that we all connected even now so you guys were doing talking about mediums right on your last previous mm-hmm. couple episodes ago and then amy came ran into me in and tiktok do you think that's a coincidence there there is no coincidences yeah so I mean, there's a little bit yeah. of there's a little bit of of the bleed over that happens every once in a while. I think that some of the stuff that that um, that we talk about and that we, you know, I think that there's been times that I have, I've, I don't know, dinosaur. I sent you a text or something like that one time, uh, well, not one time, but a few times where we'll talk about something and then I'll say, look, they're copying us or. Or uh, uh, we were just talking about this, and I'll, you know, send you it and say, like, "See, I told you, people think we're so awesome. They're now copying us, or they're now using our content." And it's easy enough to brush things off like that, but you know, it's kind of, it's 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 not um, it's not too far fetched to you know say that hey. This connection is either with the mind or, the, or group think or a way that, you know, somebody is even, uh oh. Oh, okay. Everybody's back. I'm here. Yeah. Are you okay? Okay. Yeah. My screen just said, watch this trick real quick. And <laughs> hold my beer. Watch this. Yeah. You want to hey, see, you want to see some right. group think? Watch this. <laughs> Spirit was fucking you right now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's interesting that there's like how somebody is, I forget who it was, but it's like if you have this great idea or you have this thing uh, and you don't pursue it, that that gets passed on to someone else that will. Mm-hmm. And, and I, yeah, I, mean, I feel like that's a connection right there. It, it's weird. Listen, I have I have even went so far as to thinking, do I not speak with past loved ones? Do I just read people's minds? I mean, I've literally had those thoughts before. Yeah, because, right. I mean, I, I, I really thought, I mean, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, huh, because a lot of times they'll be like, yeah, I knew that that was my so-and-so or I knew that. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. am I reading your mind? I mean, I have had those thoughts, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, and then uh, something will come to me that will not be related to anybody, and I know it will be spirit. And I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. I I do talk to dead people, so I mean, it, listen, I don't have it figured out, and I don't even. I, I'm not. I'm going to tell people I'm never a hundred percent, and I can tell you shit that there was no way I possibly could know that. And it, it, I, you, you could. I, I it's just. It, there's no way I could know it, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm still not 100%. You know, I talk to dead people. How could you ever be 100% on this? I mean, yeah. you just... So, I don't remember where I was going with that. No, I, sure I, think it's, I, think it's, I think it's very um, intriguing. It, it's just really a thing of where... I don't, I don't know if you ever want to be 100%. Because if you get 100%, then you start to get pretentious with it. You're like, ah... Uh, yes. People... I, 
people get bougie with it as soon as they think that I've got this down. I know what I'm doing. I can weed through and get yeah. Then it begins. Then that's that's when I think it gets kind of weird, and you get you get the woven shawls on your shoulders and the <laughs> and the nine hundred numbers and you know the call me now well, and all. Well, the thing is this: um, I pray that I will never be like that, and I have asked spirit to never be like that because ego is is the thing that I'm all you're always going to have to go go up against. Okay. Yeah. I do know people like that. I do know mediums like that. Actually one in my local area won't get into it, but mm -hmm. her and I had a little tiff tiff um yeah. and he came at me about something that was just totally ridiculous. But um I always want to be humbled. Um and the thing is is that um God, see, I'm getting, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Spirit's distracting me. Um, I always want to be humble. I always, I'm still shocked. I mean, I still pinch myself and say, is this real? I haven't been doing it that long, but I hope in 10 years I still say that, you know? Um, yeah. Because I do believe that if you don't do right by it, you don't do right by people, it can be taken away. Now, yeah. Not totally, but I won't be as as well oiled. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You won't be as you won't progress and you won't uh, no. grow. Um, yeah. Right. No, I can totally so, understand that. Now, for me particularly, I had a very hard time with charging people money, but hmm. I wasn't going to go back to a corporate life. I can't hmm. go back to corporate life. I mean, hmm. I talked to dead people. You know, it would be very hard, um, and I hated it anyway. So hmm. it's more that than anything. So I had to really sit with it and say, is this okay? Is this okay to do that? I thought at first it wasn't. And then, you know, I sat with it and said, you know, as long as you are fair by people, you don't do an, you know, astronomical fee, but know your worth also, yeah. you know? Yeah. And um, it's an exchange of energy. You know, it's an exchange. I am giving something. You are receiving it. You are paying for it. And so, um, you know, and Amy and, and, and your partners was very, she said something that was very, very profound to me and was like, you know, cause I, I always do free readings for family and friends and, you know, mm -hmm. I do this and I do that. And sometimes I give too much and, mm -hmm. you know, she just really was like, no, you know, no, just something that she said just really struck me. And I was like, thank you for that. You know, yeah, well, wasn't it something um, about, um, um, know your worth take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, no, don't let people, you know, and I, I guess I just, sometimes I, um, I'm not saying, Oh, I'm a giver. I'm a giver. But sometimes I give too much and I don't, you know, I don't expect anything in return, which yeah. is good to a point, but then people start to take advantage right. of that, you know? Yeah. And I, yeah. I couldn't say to her, no, no, don't worry. Like I felt very valid on what she was saying. And I just was like, thank you. You know, because I do notice even only doing this a few months, people start to act differently around me because people know that I'm going to be successful because I am going to be successful. And so people start to look at you differently and you start to see maybe some uglier sides of people as well, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah, that's interesting because I think that um, for me, I can understand your your perspective on it because I'll, for some of the things that I do, I'll charge people from time to time because it's my time or it's effort or it's you using my equipment or whatever, whatever it is, my, my knowledge, experience, whatever, whatever it is that I'm charging someone for. Uh, it gets to where you want to help somebody and then that line gets blurred. It's like, okay, I want to help you, but I don't want to say, okay, that'll be $200. That'll be $400. Mm -hmm. But, but I'm helping you and, you know, I'm helping you because it could be five times that if you go outside of it, but I need the supplies or I need the time or I need this is gas money and meals or at least um, mm -hmm. you also feel like you're on, you also feel like the, that that what it is that you're doing has to be worth it. Like, okay, mm -hmm. I hope that, like in your case, and I'm just I'm just 
speaking for you, even if I'm if I'm off, I'm off. You know, I I would assume that there's like some sort of background anxiety of like I hope this reading is is worth it for you. I hope I hope you're getting something out of this because I'm just giving you what I'm getting, and you know the price is the price. But if this isn't as miraculous as they have it concocted in their head to be, then it's like you know, well, sorry, you shouldn't have made it up to be this monumental thing when really, you know, it, it, it wasn't to the expectation that they had or the information or what they found out or what they heard. Yeah. And oddly enough, I'm actually pretty good with that. Like mm-hmm. I um the only time that I've ever, I, I never, I never really have those feelings um, and I never really feel bad like, oh, they didn't get what they wanted. I have had a couple of times where I didn't have spirit come in and um, I'm like, listen, I I just don't feel it. And Mm -hmm. then we have also had, you know, like one time our our energies did not match. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, listen, Mm -hmm. there's no reason to push this. It's just not going to happen. Here's your money back because Mm -hmm. Okay. At the end of the day, I'm never going to hold someone's money. If I wasn't able to do my part, I'm never going to take your money, okay? Well, that's cool. Now, oh, that's cool. I mean, I think that's a responsible yeah. and, and really... It, um, yeah. I think that's really... Um, well, responsible. That's the only word I can think of right it's now. It's a stand-up thing because, to Yeah, because it's like... Then it's almost like you're... You're... you're leeching off of or you're profiting off of someone's misfortune or a death or you know some trauma or something that they're you're profiting off of their closure that they might be who knows but it's a it's it, it's a it's a pretty stand-up thing yeah you're right that's a, that is a better word stand-up thing yeah, right? I, I do I I will tell you, most mediums are like that. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I think the bad ones really are few and far between. I, I, any medium that's of their salt, of their worth, I mean, if they don't have spirit coming in, they're just not going to take your money. It, mm-hmm. it, it, it's a fact, okay? Um, because we're we're exchanging. So if I haven't given my energy, if I haven't now, have I ever had any? I've never had anyone say I did, this reading wasn't what I expected, and I want my money back. I mean, I. I probably would give them the money back because mm. I don't want to deal with it. But right. I have had, I know one particular person, I didn't feel like it was the greatest read. Um, it wasn't because the information wasn't there. It was, but I do believe maybe our energies weren't aligning. Mm. And I mean, she definitely got all the information. I know I connected and I told her, I said, you know, I, I feel like maybe this wasn't like, a, I could just tell from her because I read people. Mm-hmm. And I offered, I mean, there was no reason for me to offer her money back, but I felt better just to do that. Okay. And she said, no, no, that's fine. Um, so, you know, if, if they go in expecting something and I come up with spirit and, and they're not expect, I mean, that's really, I don't feel bad about that because I'm, I'm not a robot. I'm not someone that you know, <laughs> it, you're going to get what you get. That's what spirit is, right. you know, but I do understand that. Yeah. If no one comes through, absolutely. Here's your money back. Um, and honestly, I probably would give it to them back anyways, if they're going to, you know, I'm, it's not worth my time. There's so many people that, um, or good people that are, would never ever dream of that. I'm going to make it back tenfold. So it's really mm-hmm. not about money mm-hmm. for me, even though I need to have money to pay my bills. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's just the way that it is. <clears throat> and I do tons of free readings. I do readings on, on lives and I do, you know, donation based readings. So uh, I never really, yeah, I don't, um, I've been lucky. I've been lucky. Mm-hmm. I haven't had anybody have a problem. So, yeah, I just, I just can relate in a way because I, you know, would teach classes and whatnot and just be like, okay, I'm just really, I'm not, and there's an energy level there. And uh, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm giving something and they're giving me, you know, it's, it's resonating back. They got to give me something back. But if it's not coming back to what I'm giving, then that sort of <clears throat> depletes my energy that I'm giving out, they get worse. I get, but if they are at that same level and they're as eager to, to get into it as I am, then you just, 
you then it just helps out that's that that uh experience even more so i can kind of i can kind of you know relate in in that regard uh to what you're saying as well it's not really dealing with spirits but it is more so dealing with energy and 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 uh how how well things progress with energies in a line as opposed to one just not really connecting as well and that's what it, it really it's all about energy you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying and, right. and i'm not a match for everyone i am not a match for everyone every no medium is um, and I have, um, you know, I have when people re- like when I a lot of my business comes from TikTok, but then I get a lot of referrals. And if those referrals, you know, they don't see me on TikTok, they don't know how I read. Sometimes, you know, that's been the only one off as I've had, you know, if it's a referral. Yeah. And, you know, we don't already match. So, um, right. <clears throat> um, Does that happen sometimes so like from people that have had readings from someone and they or they've had multiple readings and this particular person is always used to a medium being this way. And then they encounter you and it's like, Oh, well, you're not like the other eight mediums that I usually go to. Mm. Uh, you know, is it that, um, that, that like, mm, I guess I'll try <laughs> you, but you really don't have 32 incense burning right now. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, you geez, didn't I'm wave me. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't wave me down with any sage first. Mm. Okay. Go ahead, well, tell I don't me know. something. No, I haven't had that. Um, I do. I, I there's one particular person. I have to be very careful on what I say, but sure. there's one particular person that our energies just did not match. And um, the problem was, as I I did, Spirit did tell me she saw quite a few mediums, and they don't like that. Okay. So they don't like people who keep seeking out mediums because you are not to rely on a medium. Number one, you don't actually ever have to pay anyone. You can do it yourself, but nobody trusts themselves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when you keep on wanting to talk to the same person as in spirit, you're mm-hmm. relying too much on that and spirit's not going to come through for you. So I have had that oh. where this person, I saw the person and they were literally standing there with their arms crossed and they weren't saying shit. Uh-huh. And I knew they weren't going to say shit. So huh. I said, listen, this, this ain't going to work out. You just saw a medium a few weeks ago, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so spirit get tired. Spirit, and you know what? And that's a great point that you bring that up. Spirit does, this takes energy for spirit. This is not something, this is what I've been told. This is not something that they're just like, oh, we're just floating in the clouds and we didn't have anything better to do. Now, they might not have had, they always got shit to do, but this takes energy for them to communicate with me. That's why they don't talk in full paragraphs. It's, it's a puzzle piece, Okay. Because Wait. just like it takes energy for me, it takes energy for them to communicate with me. Wait. Wait. Yeah. So um, y'all, earlier y'all were talking about um, something to do with like animals. and Oh, the reincarnation. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. them coming across as like a human spirit or a human spirit coming across as an animal. Um. Oh, yeah, we had that today. So Laura, (laughs) my wife, actually had a reading today, and um, I had not mentioned um, our dog, Adele, um, to Tiffany at all. She knew about a dog that I had named Jill, um, who actually came to her um, on the other, she came to her from the other side, and... um, my grandmother's my my grandmother her spirit's actually taking care of jill but today um well tiffany got to meet adele and she she Mm -hmm. came across as a woman right yes it was the craziest thing ever i had no idea so tell me about this i gotta do something i'll be right back okay i can't i can't tell you how big my eyes are right now (laughs) Yeah, so it was the first person, the first, you know, I connected with her, and it was the first person to come through my fairy door, 
And I was like, okay, this is a woman energy. And I said it could be, um, well, I don't think I even said it could be a grandmother. And normally I would say this would be a motherly energy. It could be a grandmother as well. But I didn't get that. I just felt a woman energy. And so I had to say to Laura, I'm like, how do you connect with a woman energy? And she's like, that's pretty broad. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it is. I get it. It is. Um, but it's just kind of like I got to do puzzle pieces. And I'm like, I don't know. This feels like maybe it was a partner. Did you have a partner that passed away? Um, because I did hear a partner. So I thought maybe it was a partner that passed away. I don't know. And so she's like, yeah, can you narrow it down? There could be a few people. And I'm like, okay, yeah, let me, because I first have to come to you, you know, and then see what you say. And then I come back. Okay. So I, I meditated a little bit in on it and they just said to me, dog. So I said, okay, now I did not fucking think it was the actual dog. I thought it, she would know when I said dog, they either had a dog together or something like that. Or they're, right? or they're homies what or their homies yeah I, I i didn't think it was the actual fucking dog right and i was like yeah i was like okay they just said to me dog so how do you relate to a dog and a female and a woman i said woman not female i said woman and she's like i think it's my dog who was like my soulmate and i'm like what wait a minute and then when she said that i literally got oh and i just got them right now i get goosebumps when I get goosebumps on my left arm, it is my confirmation from spirit that that is correct. And I was shooketh. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, you I'm are? Oh, okay. I'm holding my head up like a tent right now. <laughs> so, and let me just, I, I know the story, so I know what she told you, but I can't, I can't emphasize enough how much Laura and Adele were connected. Um, they oh, were yeah. so connected that I was jealous of Adele for a while. And that's insanity. And she would give me these like side eye looks at first, like you're taking my mom away from me or, you know, you're taking her away from me. But um, it's just something that I had to deal with. And I had, I, I realized that they were a perfect bond and I had to respect that. And I loved Adele. I love, I still love her. She's amazing. And she's always here. And we know that she's here. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> she'll come back. Hopefully she'll come back. I'll text her. Okay. Yeah. She should be able to use the same yeah. link. Okay. So that was weird. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's now flickering. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh, there she is. Hopefully. Hey, you there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, we can't have you back. Too much weird shit is happening <laughs> right now. Can I you send us some sage, please? <laughs> like, I don't, like, like, I don't drink, but I might tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go get some weed Kool Aid. I'll be right back. <laughs> what the fuck? My battery's about to die too, and I have I can't put my charger in because my microphone is plugged into that. Oh, well, then how do we wrap this up? We can you can always come back. We, okay, we'd love to have you back well, again. Um, yeah, we're coming up on two hours, which is you know, yeah, it's, it's our thirtieth it's, it's, it's episode. It's our thirtieth episode. Well, that's true. We always, and it's Pride Month, so we always go a little extra for Pride Month. That's it. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, but before you go, yeah. before you go, I did have a like a okay. Once we get all medium doubt let's i wanted to end on a note where it was a little bit more socially and then just we decompress and you know have a good time talking about it real quick just real quick i know your power is about to, your your battery no, about got, to die i got a little bit i got time i mean in okay case, okay I'm, I'm good. i just I, I just wanted to get a different perspective let you let you decompress no medium talk at all okay it's been hitting a lot uh that uh al pacino is having is, his girlfriend is pregnant what so yeah right so i was wanting to know it works sorry yeah see okay 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 all right all right there you go so there's that also how i'm just gonna be up front yeah i've had 
early on in life, I've had, I had a thing for older women and that's a little Oedipus I guess. I don't know. I have no clue. And then it just morphed into, no, just beautiful, just beautiful women, whatever. That doesn't, you know, if they're an adult, whatever. You're such a slut. I, okay. Okay. Call, call me what you will. But <laughs> I, it's interesting. I've been reading as of late with with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro the same way. But Al Pacino, they're like, oh, now he's the oldest guy that has is expecting a kid. It's interesting when that happens. Like, like chicks are supposed to not fuck older dudes. Is that? Huh? I'm just seizing the moment. I'm <laughs> I'm seizing the moment because like I've, I've got two women here that can help me. <laughs> understand this okay well let me be clear about something i would never fuck an older dude okay ever well yeah yeah no. i i get that i get that but but i guess we're going to go a little bit medium -y. in another life if you were <laughs> if you were lounging around with an 84 year old oh god no bro see Sorry. a lot of people say gross i mean i'm not well, saying i don't know what to do with it I, i'm not saying I, i'll know if you know if an 84 year old woman was like Hey, as a matter of fact, I've had that already happen to me. And I was like, and I told her, I looked at her, I was like, you, you know that what? address immediately, right? He was there. Yeah, I sat down and, was, and I was like, hey, you say, oh, you came to sit next to a real woman now, huh? And I looked at her, I was <laughs> yeah. like, I looked at oh, her. Oh, wow. you feel like being gay woman? Come on. Man. Yes. Yeah. I, out. I looked at her, I was like, you know what? I really don't know what I would what i would do be able to do with you i really don't know you say mm -hmm. there's a lot of experience here I was like, that ass. Are you she was like, and she was just like there's a lot of experience here huh and i was like yeah Looks yeah like i can't <laughs> i can't refute that i can't refute that i'm not going to have you pull out your you know Resume. your checklist yeah is it interesting that there's a dude out there that's 83 and he's having a kid with a, I forget how old, um, I, I don't find, I find it interesting because people have this thing of where they're like, you shouldn't be having a baby now. You, you, need, to, you need to think about the kid because the kid, and like there's one person who's making a post of like, I'm set for life. Well, they, they, there's one person's like making this comment that I feel sad for the, for the unborn child for all the sadness they're gonna go through once once he's gone. I'm like, what the fuck? The, I mean, it's not like, it's almost like there's the assumed rape. Like what? She, she was a part of it. He was a part of it. They wanted to have a baby. It's not like she woke up and this old dude just got finished having a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like they're a couple. They wanted to have a kid. Yeah. And no, I mean they, <clears throat> She knew how old he was, and it's not like there's some sort of mystery. And it was interesting because her friend, uh, you know, her friend was like, "Yeah, she's always been into older dudes. She's never not date. She's never dated someone her age. She's always been into much older guys." Yeah, but is she has she ever been with an eighty four year old Walmart? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know how much Al Pacino is hitting outside of her her typical age medium. No, <laughs> like I'm usually here, and you're a little bit fifteen out of that, but you're Al Pacino, so right. Fuck it. I mean, yeah. How much? Of, yeah. I mean, look no. at the thing, though. I mean, like, I do, I do wonder on the sperm quality. I mean, I'm sure it's okay. That's it's what I was thinking. Let's marvel at that for a minute. Well, you know yeah, that, I mean, that's great. You're right. That Theo, you know, that Theo Von, whatever, what is his name? Theo Von something. God, that man is funny. I, I'm gonna manifest meeting him one day. He, he. Um, he oh, Theo Von. <laughs> huh? Comedian Theo Von. Yeah. The comedian Theo Vaughn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. so goddamn funny. His dad. No, he's was, hilarious. He, oh my he's God. He's hilarious. I, I, he, I cannot take him. But his dad was real old. And <laughs> so they talk about his dad was like his 82, I think. Yeah. He's um, funny. Uh, you know, the funnier bit is that he used to be, uh, he was one of the, remember that show, The Real World? Yes, I used to watch him. 
Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, yeah, he was on that. He that's how he originally got out there. Yeah, I'm old, old. I watched that when like the prime old time. guys. Oh my goodness. Old guys. I mean, I understand like women have like okay, there's certain ages where you can bear a child and it can be detrimental. I get that. Mm-hmm. But dudes are just shooting shit out their dick, and I think that. <laughs> <laughs> as you do, it, I, I guess. Think that, I think that as long. Well, no, I'm sorry. They're not shooting shit. That's a that's a disorder. I I've re, I mistakenly <laughs> read that disorder one time. I do not wish that on anybody. They shoot shit. Actual feet. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's no. like it's like the track gets the track gets <laughs> switched up and it starts coming out. That's got to be a fuckload of pain. That would give me E. coli. <laughs> that would be bad. Because turds don't diminished in size <laughs> anyway oh. booze are just like as long as it is possible to ejaculate they will if you find somebody that wants to be with you is it is it too restrictive for society to say you can't be with this guy because he or you can't be with this woman you can't be with this person because they are x age and woe be unto both of you if you have a child no god just do your do you do you do exactly you. Do i think you. that's yeah. the thing right they're doing them like she's not yeah she's not saying Ugh. but here's the thing when i said ew i thought of like my grandpa no god love you gramps okay but you know you got some say you know what i'm saying yeah like, right oh absolutely like gross. if you look good for 84 yeah i'm gonna get up on it okay and if it works but <laughs> Why not? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like didn't mute her mic at all. She was like, I'm just gonna fight. <laughs> Wait. Okay, okay, okay. She was throwing out how she would never get with that 84 year old dude. I mean, okay. Got oh, I was thinking of him as a wrinkly dude though. Like, no, if he's good looking, now. if he's, you know, Von Diesel eighty four, yeah, sure. You now, know, but also, now, it doesn't if have. It, okay, okay. If it's Vin Diesel, okay. Now, if the, if the dinosaur happened to come across, and this, um, I know you already said you wouldn't because we brought that up last episode. I think I think I said Martha Stewart before, but a really hot chick that, and you're not married, so whatever is is okay, not well, well, well. a really hot chick, and you're like, God damn it, I want to talk to her. And you and you happen to talk and you're like, yeah, da, 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 da. and somehow, some way it comes out that 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 you know, hey, I'm having a party, I'd love for you to come. Um, it's gonna be at my house, select group of people, but I'm I'm really vibing with you. I, I really want to spend more time with you. And you know, who knows where this goes? Okay, great. And you go to the party and she's turning 80. Would you would you still oh i'd be like come here bitch i got your present right here okay know that would you still grant that birthday wish fucking hell yeah (laughs) okay so if she's looking enough that i can't that i can't even tell right right yeah yeah like everything is there you hell yeah i want some of that sippity sip you know what i'm saying like everything like everything is there everything is there's a question mark if that's a wig or not but who is not wearing extensions of this particular it could be everything else everything else is there you've kind of peaked some under boob because she's wearing whatever and you're like hey wow that's not even plastic surgery you've really been keeping yourself together i would fucking hit that and then and then you realize oh wow you wow so you were you were a little easy though so she didn't have a hard you were you were born during the depression okay cool all right Oh, you, you grew up. You grew up as a ration baby. Oh, okay, got it. It's terrible. I mean, but that's the case, right? I think it's interesting how people like you can't be in a relationship with someone if they're so much older than you, and you can't have a kid with them if they're so much older than you. Well, but yet, yeah, I mean, they love they love each other. 
I understand what they're saying about, you know, I mean, obviously, let's be honest, he's not going to live till 120. I mean, you know, I mean, well, right. an age limit. But here's the thing. I could have somebody, I can have a baby daddy out there and he died tomorrow. So, I mean, nobody, exactly. nobody right. is 100%. Right. But I do question. How many people are still dying? But here's the thing. I do question the sperm v- vitality, vitality. I mean, yeah. You think figure it's been in there for a real long time, so I don't I know. Mean, you know, it probably took that sperm a good seven days just to get there. I mean, uh, come on. I don't you, know. Okay. Enter through the gates. I mean, they're just taking their time. And eighty four yeah. is eighty four, right? Eighty four is eighty four. Eighty eighty four. And 84, and I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say the place before, but uh, 84 at Target <laughs> is different than Al Pacino 84. Right. That's true. Right. Like, like I think some people take, I, I think some people take their no, never, uh-uh's when it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> you, you know, right. You know, like you're flicking your well, head. Oh, you didn't think it was that person. Like, yeah, you're flicking your hair to the side. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh but balls, yeah. okay. balls are balls. Hey, yeah. You, oh, yeah, you play, you play, yeah, you play John Luke Picard. I was wrong. You did. Hell. You okay. did play John Luke Picard. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, uh, okay, listen, saggy balls are saggy balls. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Saggy balls are saggy balls. I'm just saying. They age, dangle no matter what age they are. They they do. We talked about this on Vlad. But they talk. Yeah, we did. They talk. They they sag more, and um, it the, the ball is the ball, no matter how much money you have. I'm sorry, you don't do ball. But it's Al Pacino. I don't it's care. It's Al Pacino. You know he's probably had that saved up somewhere, and he's had some. Hey, look. Um, uh, I don't know. When I have a kid, I, I want. Know. I want you. And he had like vats of sperm somewhere. And he just like, look, while we're having sex, just just slide this sperm suppository in you. And <laughs> I don't know. And it'll, it'll, it'll finish off what I can't. It, who knows? Who knows? But the fact is still the same. I hope the best for them. I hope they have a great kid. I hope Maybe you- it'll wake Tiffany up in the middle of the night and the spirit will just let her know that answer. Listen. I, I I have had I love that they, I love that he's in love with someone and and that that Fair. they have a relationship. See the spirit took away. See what happens when you talk about oh. I love that they're in love with someone. I love that they have um the opportunity to stay in a relationship that they are having a baby and that's what's up. I mean, dude has kids already and you know, if he wants to have another one, go right ahead. I love it that he can get it up still. But I will let you know that uh, celebrities have come to me, spirit celebrities. That might be for another oh, yeah. time. But yeah. So if he croaks, he'll come to me. No, don't. I don't say that. No, I don't know. Oh. But um, no, I, I'll, I'm i all for it. Listen, if it still works, it's still making a baby. I'm all for it. You know? I think as long as it's done in love. Yeah. Or with positive, positive intention. Yeah. 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 Listen, that's what's up right i don't care who you get with at the end of the night if you get it end of the night end of the day morning as long as it's not my wife or your, you know your significant other right you know yeah i mean the story could be so the the story could be so weird or it could be you know abuse of some sort it could be this or that but they genuinely have a great relationship from what i can tell and for what other people take account of i could be wrong i don't know i'm not in those circles like that but I think it's kind of presumptuous for people to say you can or can't have I mean, like that's one step that's that's a few steps away from then trying to tell people who they can be in a relationship with and and that what age is is acceptable and what's not who cares because you're not living their life and you're just kind of low-key butthurt because you're not living their life you know if you do you're not banging a hot chick like that and if you're a chick you're not getting with Al Pacino for whatever reason. And so, so be it. And if you're into chicks and if you're into chicks like the dinosaur, you're not banging a hot chick like that or whatever the case, who yeah. knows? I, I, who knows? I, I, I had got my own problems to deal with. I, I yes, can't, it, it don't matter exactly. to me. It doesn't make or break me. It doesn't change my exactly. life whatsoever. Yeah. Um, you know, more, you know, more power to them. 
It don't. It don't. It right. doesn't affect me either way. All right. Well, that was. Man, no, I mean, he blew point. his load, and I'll say, you know, <laughs> shit, fuck it. Two hours and seven minutes. Yeah, that was the two, That was the social. The social uh, topic I wanted to just seize the moment with two, two lovely, intelligent women and try to figure it out. But in any case. We've gone an extra uh, mile or four uh, with our 30th episode uh, with our first guest, which happened to be the Jesus Medium. Tell everybody how they can get in contact with you. No pun there. How they can get in contact with you and, uh, you know, get if they were looking to get a reading and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You said you want me to tell them? Yeah, yeah, oh. I, I, I oh, will butcher okay. it. Okay, um, so yeah, so I am working on my website. I will have it done um, maybe this year. I don't know. Okay, 20, cool. 2024 <laughs> cool. is coming. Yeah. Cool. I, I love that relate. about you. It's cool. I can relate. Yeah, so um, it's going it, to, I have the domains. It's the, the, mm -hmm. the, the jesusmedium.com. Um so I also can be found on TikTok where you can mm -hmm. schedule an appointment. Um, you do want to be careful because there's about 12 TikTok Jesus Medium accounts. Now, now what the hell is up with that? Um, we'll they get like to, into that later. They but. like to spam, scam, you know, scam people and they're getting away with it. So I have, I think, about 4,000 followers. So you'll want to make sure that you're following the okay. right one. And you can well, send us a link to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we'll so, put all of your information in perfect. this episode's description to make sure that people have the means of connecting with you uh, if they're looking to get that yeah. done. Because uh, so, we had a great time talking I to you. Know. We we definitely should do this again. We should li leave them on a sure. cliffhanger about Adele. Leave yeah, we did leave them on a cliffhanger. We did leave them on a cliffhanger. Yeah. That was interesting to me because I really didn't think, I mean, we, talk, we talked about reincarnation but i really didn't expect that story to come in for where it was like no 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 and that happened today that your dog can today. be yeah. your dog can be a chick and you're like oh come on i've had it i've had three dogs no you know I, yeah. I, i've never had that happen before it was very weird it was it shocked me but it it All was right. yeah so well, right. I don't know when what episode it will be, but this that is a perfect cliffhanger to the next time that we have the pleasure of having you on. We will pick up uh, like, hey, so finish telling us the Adele story and have you had anything else like that since then? And all the other shenanigans that you might have gone through since uh, from this time until the next time we talk. Yeah. But until then, this is the dinosaur and the dude podcast again if you happen to join us at the last five minutes it is the podcast <laughs> the shittiest audio it's true, it's terrible. The most amazing content uh terrible. you probably who knows who absolutely knows what audio sounds like um because i know for a fact it was some weird audio <laughs> shenanigans happening today i do it's not know grab bag it was weird because you were definitely being censored, man. Yes. I was watching it on the screen and I was like, okay. I think okay. Spirit was mad because it was only you. It was only you with the with the with the uh failures to, to record, failures to record. I was like, oh, okay, okay. And it was increasing. <laughs> and it was like tick 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 here and there, tick 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 here and there. And then all of a sudden would have been would that would have been that person like being upset? No, I don't think they're upset. I, 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 I don't have it figured out though. I don't know. Um, I know mm -hmm. that I, my spirit boyfriend, it might've been my spirit boyfriend. Maybe he's a little jealous. I don't know. Um, I, I, you know what, when you, when we were talking about spirit fucking, that's when it was like <laughs> long, it was long pauses. Then I was like, Oh, we're not hearing anything she says right now. I bet. <laughs> so I'm gonna listen to the audio and see if that even came through because it was like you were saying stuff. It's like, well, you know, and you were talking about the spirit version. We only heard that. I I bet there's nothing you said. Wow. We heard it, but I bet I would be amazed if that audio was actually recorded because it was like like because it's too filthy, so they were automatically censoring. Oh well, I don't know if it was 
my impression of it was, I don't know if it was too filthy or if it was just like, Hey, that's between you and me kind of thing. I don't know. Oh. It was, it was just, it was just really weird that it was only happening to you. And I could started to, I started to really listen to what it was and see if I could correlate some, because of this context, we, she's going to have this issue. Cause once we started talking about Al Pacino and having a baby, you've not had any issues. Yeah, it is weird. Um, I mean, they do do it. That's for sure. I don't know why. I don't. I don't feel like they're ever mad. I just don't think spirit gets mad. Um, huh. So I don't. Okay. I, I don't know why. But I'll be interested to see. Um, um, yeah, what made it through? I will. And you guys yeah. have to let me know because I want to promote the shit out of this. So out of you, yeah, guys absolutely, and, and out of this, absolutely. and maybe you see, we had twenty-seven. Uh, listeners, maybe you'll get to 29 when I yes. be able to bring you. Yes. <laughs> Magical. You're have yourself and your family join, right? Yeah. Well, well you you did have 28 because I shared it with my mom. So you do have 28. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. We're awesome. going to offend her. That's great. Love that. Yeah. Great. Uh, I'm fantastic. sorry. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> How do, madam? Sorry. How do, madam? How do? Um, do. This was super fun. I would love to do it again. And yeah, let's yeah. see what happens. But I, I will promote it. Yeah, let's see what happens. It, so sweet. Doug, yeah. it, thank you. Had a great time. And in case anybody was wondering, she's the dinosaur. That's me. And I'm the dude. And we still have 27 listeners. But that's okay, whatever. <laughs> Somebody dropped and your mom joined, whatever. Oh, wait, is this live? Uh, <laughs> Is this live? Yeah. I, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at our analytics. Oh. Uh, I've, I got in any so case, Okay. Love you all. <laughs> love you all. Love you too, love you Jesus. Too. And uh, <laughs> love you too, Jesus. <laughs> love and light. Love and light. I'm gonna. I'm okay. Gonna cool. Pray for you. I'm gonna pray for you all. <laughs> wow. I need some prayer too, probably. Okay. It's just cool. Just put both of us in, in the same box and just. Hey. Listen, well, my spirit wants to thank you all. Right now. <laughs> thank you all, and uh, we will be back around next episode. And hope you we all should do this again. We should, we should. Do, we're gonna we should chase do it out though. With the thing, and then the thing when we did the thing, we should do that yeah. thing again because that thing they seem like that thing. We're gonna space it out though. I'm gonna, I have to see what the audio is like on this one because it might be some crazy <laughs> back masking gotta, going on. Or we gotta give the spirit a break a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. Some back masking. <laughs> hey, motherfucker! I told you. We're like what the fuck? I wasn't. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks All again. Right. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, bye guys. Bye. Okay. Okay, so that ends that episode, and um, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a lot of uh, sounds in there. Just to give you some context with what was going on, like I said earlier, none of it we could hear in the process, and that, like, you could hear definite while I was talking about some things that uh, Jesus was mentioning. I was starting to have audio issues when I would bring it up or say anything, especially at the end. And there's the sound of what sounds like something rubbing on my mic. Well, the way my mic is set up, I, I don't touch it. So I can't touch my mic. So that sound that sounds like a hand or something rubbing over a mic was very interesting because I, production wise, I isolated all the voices and it's not on anyone else's of my feed or voice track it's on mine so <laughs> a little uh what the fuck is about that plus there was a lot of um post uh podcast show shit that happened and uh maybe we'll talk about that on the 30 first episode i don't want to reveal it all but it was some shit that both the dinosaur and i experienced after doing this this uh episode uh with the jesus medium that made us 
question a, <clears throat> question a lot of stuff. Even things that happened to us physically that was like, okay, what the fuck? So the possibility, you know, we, we basically both agreed, like, okay, we're definitely not having the Jesus medium on back to back because we need <laughs> we need to rinse ourselves for whatever we might have uh, gotten on us, you know. Please please review the part where I talk about ghost condoms. Uh, But yeah, so thanks again for listening. Do check out the Jesus Medium. We're going to put all of her uh, contact information in the uh, description of this episode. Uh, Just, you know, be be, uh, prepared to get get your shit read. Um, because it's going to happen. And if not, there's going to be some things that makes you realize maybe I should have got my shit read. In any case, have fun. Love you all. Thanks for listening to this uh, kind of post credits portion, extra portion of the episode. Uh, that makes it, that makes this officially, I like long content, uh, a long format, uh, our first long format episode with this bit at the end so enjoy uh we'll we'll be uh doing a new episode coming up for next next week and uh who knows what we're going to talk about it's up to you to tune in and check it out thanks again love you all check you later bye